Hello and welcome to DCP Live, episode number 167. How's it going, guys? Pretty good. good. Pretty good. Yeah. Can't pretty good. Shaking off some holiday parties. Oh, been partying, Fran? Any? Well, not a little bit. Any... Fran likes to party. Fran goes hard. Fran I left us. At... Fran yeah. left us at Dick's to go yeah. party <laughs> at not Dick's. Oh, yeah. literally Which holding our dicks in our hands <laughs> as we <he> leave. <laughs> <to go. laughs> wow. Not a lie, actually. That's He's a like, fact. This party <laughs> ain't happening. I got a better party yeah. to be at. So it must have been some ragers, man. Some wild, wild West parties, man. yeah. But yeah, sorry I missed last week. I was at the Game Awards, and uh, I'm sure was the episode awesome. <laughs> yes, yeah, it was our fun, Game yeah. Awards episode was yeah was the greatest yeah, we, thing ever. We were trying to find you in the audience, Fran. We were. Yeah. We had a we prize were. for some Fran spotting. They yes. probably they redacted that whole section. <laughs> that. Uh, joining us tonight is Sweatsicle. Welcome, Sweat. Hey, thanks for having hey. me on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming on. Thanks for coming on, man. Did you watch Game Awards? Uh, unfortunately, I did not. I was busy doing typical content creator stuff. So that's fair. Yeah, it's yeah. a good excuse. Yeah, it is a good excuse. It's there's a lot to do as a content creator, obviously. Uh, speaking of content creation, when uh, how'd you get started in streaming? Oh, um, I mean, I've been using Twitch since like about August 2012. I just oh, I well, never really okay. was able to stream for a long time due to like internet and like not having access to something that could stream, I guess. But gotcha. When I finally got into streaming, it was probably sophomore year of high school when I started doing Crota carries back in Destiny One. Nice, so. nice, nice. Wow. Yeah. Have you been sweatsicle for the entire time on Twitch? Uh, not change? for the, not for the entire time. I made like a brand new account when I started like actually streaming. Okay, because uh, that was like when I changed my gamer tag and stuff too. So gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, just saying. If it had been sweats of cool since 2012, you know, it's interesting. <laughs> Unfortunately, not. Yeah, That's it's not though. So yeah. <laughs> So, so it's anyway, not, interesting. So, so you're actually not interesting anymore as well. <laughs> Pretty weird. Not what I'm implying, but just it would have been something if it had been for almost nearly a decade, you know. But uh anyways, back to back to content creation, right? So you were doing Coda carries back in the day? Uh I mean, I was trying. Obviously, I didn't have like you don't boot up the stream and it just explodes. Whoever came in, they wanted to do the raid. I was like, sure, let's do it. Nice. Yeah. So did you have like a group of people that you'd kind of do it with and then people would come in and like be the fourth or fifth? Yeah, it was me, one of my IRL buddies and another friend I met online. Uh, we usually did like a three man thing. So we did three and three. We just have everybody sit on the pickle in the Crota room while we just <laughs> basically did everything. So yeah, <laughs> that's great. Pickle. <laughs> uh you got some world first right uh, a couple yeah what is what are you I a part the, of i see the belt yeah um the first one was prestige leviathan with that whole coil incident uh the, times, <laughs> the um, coil fiasco the... yeah and can you explain then, that real quick oh boy here we go uh <laughs> yeah i'm sure i remember <laughs> it's, so, I remember it's a good refresher thing i just don't remember exactly what it was yeah, so for those who don't remember the coil incident, uh, basically you could have zero coil ammo and you'd pick up one brick, so you'd have one ammo, and then if you switch to any other heavy weapon, uh, it would give you max ammo. So, Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Glorious. Yeah. And you guys were using that to get ammo, basically. Yeah, because, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you remember back then, too, the ammo economy was kind of a yikes, so yeah. it was, it was yeah. one way it to get around it. It was competitive, the ammo economy. Yeah. <laughs> So that that was your first world first. What was the second? Uh, Spire Stars. The oh nice nice. That one. Yeah. nice. Oh man, Spire. I still think that was one of the there. hardest raids that oh. has ever been in like a day one raid. Yeah, I agree. It was. I rough. think it was. Yeah, that was a mean raid. <laughs> Thank God Chevy took our uh, penis call outs. Otherwise, we'd never have got it done. Yep, that's oh, right. God. <laughs> Quad penis, power penis. Yeah, yeah, it's the only way DCP gets anything done. That's right. <laughs> Which I learned. Yeah, right. We just get super distracted if the uh, the call outs aren't <laughs> extremely odd. What's happening? Extremely <laughs> on point. Yeah, it, it does actually. I think help though because it keeps like a it keeps. A feeling of levity in the raid team that helps when you're really 
Yeah. When you're going those long hours and you're banging your head against the wall, <laughs> yeah. like to just like randomly hear somebody say, I got top penis. <laughs> like, it just it, <laughs> like it just makes yeah. it like you're not going to get mad right then. You're going to laugh and you're you're going to continue. You know, it's true. Yeah, I agree. And that's how we win world's first as team DZV. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. Right. That's one that's of these days. <laughs> yeah. Who will? I honestly feel like we're getting further away from that than we're getting closer. <laughs> when you're going for uh, world's first, what do you what's your what's your prep mentality? Yeah, can we get some tips cuz clearly we need them. We need some coaching. Yeah. Could you coach us when? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm not a great coach, but <laughs> but you got world's first belts. So you got this. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly there there really is no method to it. I just I just wing it. Like you got to you got to have people that you can trust, I think, is the biggest thing. Like, oh. people that can hold their own in the raid. Damn. Mm. That's going to be there. tough for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we figured out our problem. <laughs> Insert Tep lecture here. <laughs> so, Are you sure you're tethering right here? <laughs> so, you're saying, uh, so trust, obviously, is a big part for your team, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, um, I guess the other big part is like if somebody's making a mistake, you just you got to call them out on it, whether they like it or not. Just be like, yo, you got to fix this. You got to stop dying, costing all the rest. Got that down. Do you ever so, drop a lecture in the middle of it? I'm like what? Uh, I don't know about a lecture, but <laughs> I mean, sometimes things get a little heated, then they calm down because I mean, everybody's got to focus at the task of just getting to the end, whether yeah. or not we hate each other by the end or not. So the, the friction, right? The friction causes. Yeah. Sometimes it causes momentum, right? Yeah, in some cases it does, especially when you figure out like a new mechanic or something, then a spark lights and you're just like, I'm ready to go, dude. Everything falls in place, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you do for, for the lead up to a raid? I mean, obviously there's mechanical things in terms of how the game's mechanics are and for what you can prep and all that crap, but like, do you have, mm-hmm. a, do you have a mental thing that you do to get ready for a day one raid? Uh, I mean, geez, this is tough. <laughs> Just going in, I always think to myself, like, don't overcomplicate it. Because a lot of times that's what ends up happening is people try to overthink mm-hmm. these, like, really simple ideas that they put in. Like, for example, just in Garden, like, the, the red and the, the blue side. Just, like, I don't know. You just got to keep it simple because you overcomplicate things and you go overboard. And then before you know it, you've wasted multiple hours trying to... Like deciphering a hive boss. language? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. Referring to Greek mythology for clues onto a yep. mechanical watch. Oh yeah, that actually happened in. Uh... Yes. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. I, rem- I remember that. that, that. Right? I remember watching that. And I was like, "What are they doing? They're talking <laughs> about right. like they're researching mythology and." <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, that was Last Wish, right? It was. Yeah, it was a fun La- watch. Last Wish, yeah. the, the the watch encounter, the uh, the lock encounter, sent yeah. so yeah. many people down rabbit holes. Yeah, yeah, that was a hard encounter to learn. Yeah, I yeah, remember. I remember. Re- Go ahead. I was, gonna, I was gonna say. I remember at one point we were like we were looking at the ceiling trying to like watch the circles, and we were like googling, astro- googling astrology stuff. It was like yeah. Exactly. Uh, our raid team was doing that too. I remember googling like penumbria and like mm-hmm. all, like these words because we didn't know what they meant. So we're like, well, maybe they're a clue to what we're supposed <laughs> to be doing. <laughs> yeah, we were stuck on that for hours and hours. I remember going down a rabbit hole of um, connecting the shadows and the phases of the shadows to what rooms and what what was being mm-hmm. said on there. And yeah, it was great. that was a popular one for sure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because of penumbra, <laughs> which is the the type of shadow that's being cast. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Yeah. What's been your favorite yep. raid to date? I hate answering this question for one reason. Yes. People always think I'm biased, dude. <laughs> they always uh-huh. think I'm biased. I always say Last Wish just because it's like, it's the longest, most toughest experience that we ever had, at least for like week one. I just, part of me wishes that raids would stay that difficult, but it's just, the more you struggle on something and then when you finally overcome it, it just it feels so much better when you finally beat it, I feel like. And yeah. I like when you that. get over leveled on raids, it just I don't know. People get so used to just getting their loot and getting out, dude. They're mm-hmm. they're forgetting the experience. Sure. sure. <laughs> so that's what makes that day one so special is because yeah. 
you know, you really are sitting in there with five other people trying to figure it out and like come together as a team to make this happen. You're under leveled. You don't have the gear that you might want to have exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, you have, you, you have an inkling that maybe you're on the right path, but you're not exactly sure that you're like actually doing the right things. Yeah. You know, like it's, it's a really fun experience and it's only available like at that moment because once one person in the fire team has it figured out or has watched the YouTube video, like it's, it, it's just it, a matter of time. It's a matter yeah. of time before that kind of knowledge infects the whole team. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's great going in as a team blind and solving things. And even though people get upset over certain stuff, I think that's, that's some of the great stuff to see happen with your group of how those, yeah. the tension solves problems, how it highlights things. Mm-hmm. I think that's a really interesting thing that happens with this game. It's very unique. Yeah. 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 So yeah. What's so, okay. Last yeah. wish is your favorite raid because of how long it took the grind, the buildup up. To get to that point, um, what is what would you say is your most played raid? What raid have you done the Mine. most? <laughs> um, I mean, I've spent a lot of time Correct. in Callus's room. I know that, but okay. Uh, most played raid to date. Does this include I, Destiny One or no? Yeah. Oh yeah. This sure. definitely includes yeah. Destiny One. In yeah. fact, your favorite raid includes Destiny One as well. Okay. Hopefully, you factored that well, in. I think it's fascinating yeah. because you said you started doing, you helped people in uh, D1 and all that. So I'm, I'm mm. always curious about this, like what you think is your most cleared raid. I I would probably have to say it's Crota. Like yeah. just seriously running people in day day in, day out, all day. It was, I mean, who didn't love that raid? Let's be real. That's like, that's one of the it. most nostalgic raids for a lot of people, I feel like. So that raid to me was I loved it, but I also hated it because when it first released, it was so buggy yeah. that you mm-hmm. could be doing everything perfectly and fail <laughs> because, you know, there's just a bug. Yeah. it's There was many bugs. I mean, it launched with the unplugging the Ethernet cable stuff, right? Yeah. 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 Everybody was yeah. like, oh, that's... Yeah. But, but Crota was cheating. So that was like, I always justified it because people would be like, oh... You did that, like eventually we did, because he would get off a, off his knee like without any warning. You actually did like, that, Scoot. Fran. You did that. <laughs> did you? I, 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 I never sorry. did that. True story. You never yeah. did. It? I never. No, I never did. I, that oh, we did. I thing. mostly just two manned it. Uh, okay. Well, it got <laughs> literally. This was like the. Well, right. Got to the point where it was just getting so annoying in terms of the bugs and stuff, and I and I remember we talked about like let's just do it, forget it, because I didn't want to do it. I don't like playing games like that, but um. At didn't, that didn't point, it was to. so broken. Right. Right. Also, leveling was very hard back then, too. I think we went in there. Forever it was level 29. 32 was like the recommended level. Yeah. But if you were lucky, you would have gotten up to 30 through Vault of Glass and Iron Banner. Yeah. If you were lucky. If you were lucky. <laughs> the only <laughs> so well, a lot of people the, were in there. You actually couldn't beat it if you were all 30. You had to be 30. 1% to be 31 to be the sword bearer. To do yeah, it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, otherwise it just good old days. it just wouldn't even be possible, which was interesting. That was actually my first yeah. day one raid experience because I didn't day one raid on uh, Cro- uh, uh, Vault of yeah. Glass. I, no, yeah, same. same for me. Yeah. Yeah, I got fond memories of that. It's funny, that raid has a lot of mixed feelings for people throughout the community because it's it's like, it's a strike. It's too easy. It's, you know, the sword. But then it's like they... It's their favorite one because the loot was awesome or it's their first experience. It's fascinating how polarizing that strike has been. Or <laughs> that raid. <laughs> yeah. I just called it a strike. Nice, nice slip, Duffy. Nice, nice. My bad. My bad. <laughs> it was really cool going back into it also for the story missions. Remember that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. That was awesome. Yeah. yeah. I really enjoyed that story mission. It was cool. Yeah. When they redid that raid to in, at the end of destiny one's life and they added like multi-sword that was super fun mm-hmm. <laughs> when he got to the other side of the bridge and everybody had a sword the redux yeah, they're just was, whopping like was, crazy yeah. yeah that was super cool that's one of the most fun I, like sections of any raid i've ever played mm-hmm. yeah so fast forward to current today action season of dawn yeah. dawning mm-hmm. <laughs> How has the season been <laughs> yes. for you, Swatskull? Uh, dude, I 
I've been enjoying it a lot, actually. There's a there's a good amount of weapons to chase, which I like, because usually there's not like too many weapons that are like actually viable. But mm -hmm. chasing, there's some good sidearms, dude, and I'm very impressed. Oh, so, what's your good? Yeah, what are some highlights? Yeah, what's the sidearm roll? Oh, geez, uh, I forget the name of the the sundial one, but Outlaw Rampage Bridge Light. Yes, that one with Outlaw Rampage. Um, I don't know if I can roll flared magwell, but any sort of Anything to up the reload, dude, you can sit and mow stuff down. Hmm. Nice. Interesting. Yeah. Did you expect to be using that come this season, a uh, sidearm? No. Yeah. Not at all. <laughs> what do you think of the pinnacle sidearm? Uh, it's, uh, it's okay. Or whatever. I got it. It's like, it, it doesn't compare to these other ones, though, I don't feel like. Hmm. That's too bad. Yeah. Can't compare it to the old Rat King. Yeah. You know? True. That's right. Yeah. Sorry, I mean, I told you. ritual weapon. Yeah. In Rat King, I still have to get my catalyst done. You do. It's amazing. Catalyst is so good. Yeah. It's By like the way, the did, they, did they ever say anything? Like, Buzzard was really easy to get. Like, you could do, like, seven to five to ten strikes, really. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did they ever say that whether that was intentional or not? Like, people were saying, oh, it's broken. But, like, did, I don't know if I saw any commentary saying that it was ever broken, so... I don't think I don't they ever think said so. it was broken. It's just a freebie. I think people were just like, this is easy. It's broken. Yeah. <laughs> Go quickly, guys. It's but, broken. Yeah. It, it's really right. fast to get. So you you yeah. mentioned Rat King Watson. That's, I just popped that on. And I put on two sidearms. I was just like, whatever. Two you know, sidearms. Stuff down. Oh my I figured, God. why not? I, I wasn't running out of ammo, and like I won't never be too tempted right to shoot with something else which you get into that i do anyway i'll get mad at an enemy i'm like all right you're gonna get shotgun to the face <laughs> but then like it's a wasted kill for the, the strike you know i, know, so. I had to resist the telesto and crucible aggressively i was like <laughs> yeah. not telesto sorry um Aaron Tull. no Aaron Tull. Uh, oh okay. <laughs> oh, i think i'm fixing everything yeah, up he's tonight. A Half Tefty during Iron Banner, the last one was a one eye mask, Aaron told Titan. Whoa, whoa, not one eye mask. I'm always a hunter from playing PvP. You used one eye. I was watching you, Tefty. No yeah. shame. There was a moment it where was you like, used one eye mask. 100%. Then I think it was like for an hour or two, because that's that's not my main gig that right there. That is long oh. enough, Tefty. <laughs> I still long feel enough. the burn of the one eye mask, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been sitting here quietly using it for the last year. <laughs> right? Yeah, you probably have it. Unbelievable. What, but, what so else? Sidearms are good now. Yeah, what else? Uh, so, yeah, the sidearm roll, you said Outlaw Rampage to hunt mm -hmm. from the sundial. Yeah. So the interesting thing is these weapons, I, I feel like a lot of these weapons are good and worth grinding for, and they're going away at the end of the season. Yep. Yeah. Like the, the previous Vex offensive one, it was adorative, and I, I feel like that was it for weapons. Yeah. Right? Maybe there was something Gotta else. Grind it now. But yeah, this one, I feel like there could be a god roll on each gun worth chasing. Mm -hmm. The uh, yeah. the grenade launcher is also really cool, too. Yes. Like, yeah. just throw my grenades. Yeah. Yeah. The wave frame or whatever. Wave frame, yeah. That's pretty it, cool. Uh, wave frame. <laughs> yeah. it's, is it, it a wave frame? I'm pretty sure it's wave frame. It's literally what it is. Yeah. yeah. That's the name of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, stuff. Just like using it as is like any role it's kind of just fun to like see the explosion like tear through like half a mile well, not that far but exaggerating half a mile forward, 40 miles just, like exactly so yep. miles forward, it's cool destroy everything um, in its path. <laughs> uh but yeah yeah that's what i was rolling i got actually really lucky i didn't know it because like i'm actually not that good with knowing which role to get that's why we have people like you on sweat but um I got one with like field prep and something else really good. And they were like, that's the role. Cause people were talking about, um, I'll, I'll look it up, but uh, it was field prep with something else. Mm. Mine is, uh, and I got it like first try. Mine's auto loading and demolitionist, which has been really good. Oh, that, that's okay. another one people really like for that one. Yeah. I got that like first try and I was like, Oh, I bet this is pretty good. <laughs> well, yeah, it's <that's> pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do for the rest of the season? <laughs> <laughs> now, there, oh, no, there's other roles for sure. There's one, uh, what is it called? Something gold I think by that's lead the or one whatever. I have. Oh, that's it. Sorry. So, lead from gold. Lead from gold, yeah. With mm -hmm. field prep is what I have. And then I'm not sure on the other stuff, but um, but I did get that nice. role, which apparently is pretty good for. Uh, yeah, it already comes with a lot of ammo. ammo. Just yeah, straight up. This is like apparently just like, I guess, nonstop ammo. So. Yeah. Yeah, what's interesting, that lead from gold, that's a new perk that they put in, in this season. Mm -hmm. I, the first time I saw it was yesterday. And if you pick up a heavy brick, if I understand this correctly, you pick up a heavy brick, mm -hmm. you also get special ammo for your grenade launcher, right? 
yes. that weapon. Yeah, that so weapon. picking up heavy ammo also grants ammo to this weapon. So I don't know if it comes on any other weapons, but um, so yeah, it, that's precisely probably it. more in the future. You get it, yeah. It's a, it's a it's a bonus, by the way, too. That was the thing people were ex- describing to me at first, but it's not that it just gets ammo; it gets on top of the mag. I think mm-hmm. so. That's the cool part. You can get additional <laughs> ammo, like reserve. Basically. Can I pitch you guys yep. this build that I've been using this week? Uh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. The one eyed mask. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It started with Xenophage. Xenophage last season was like, what the hell is this oh, bungee? Yeah, they buffed it. This is garbage, right? So mm-hmm. they, they gave it a 50% buff to PvE damage. All right. Now it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not going to take away it's is not good burden. Too. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You feel like an actual heavy gunner yeah. with this. So I thought. How can I constantly have ammo for this and never have to reload? So I went to the Titan, Acting War Rig. Acting War Rig reloads it automatically. Mm-hmm. So that's great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Then I'm also combining that with my uh, auto loading demolitionist um, grenade launcher, Monster, yeah. which is nice. Mm-hmm. And then I got another, uh, another auto rifle that's also getting constantly reloaded. So then I put machine gun f- ammo finder, double stack, and then scavenger, double stack. And then I just recently okay. got heavy ammo finisher. To seal the deal. Wow. Nice. Fantastic so is situation. It working? It's working. It is incredible. The only the only problem is on like a 980 nightfall. The end this week, it, that last room is really rough. If you're not rocking is or you're not burning. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not burning the boss immediately, then you're gonna have tough times with it. But everything else, it's just fantastic. The only thing that's yeah. missing now on Xenophage is um unstoppable. It's like why didn't it have unstoppable? It, That'd be sick. Right? It would be. Yeah, it came out. Plus, people can't tell when you're not hitting headshots because there's no crit. So they can't be like, wow, Tefty, missing exactly. all those crits. <laughs> yeah. People come in and be like, no crits, no crits, bro, huh? What? And be like, you can't get crits. <laughs> Everything yeah. dies in explosions, man. It's great. I, you don't have to reload. You constantly have ammo. And then if I farmed for one of those, uh, if, if I got one of those lead from gold rolls, the one that you have, then that would be amazing because every time I pick up heavy yeah. from the finisher, I would yeah. automatically get ammo for that as well. Oh yeah, that's right. There it is. Well, you got a right. uh, you know eight weeks or whatever left to, to get one. I'm sure you will. Yeah, just got to keep grinding those obelisks. Uh, also, I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to say it. Here he goes. <laughs> this build. Oh, boy. He's going to main a warlock the next season. We all talked about it pre-stream. <laughs> No, it's like he's going to be a titan. Right. He's going to no keep Fran. It. God right. damn it! What I'm going to say offline is <laughs> this build works in Gambit, and Xenophage is the two yes, shot to anybody yes. invading. Really? Yeah, oh, interesting. Really. It's kind of dirty. Yeah. Ooh. I also so I also did it with uh, Dragon Shadows on my Hunter, which actually I prefer even more because yeah. as long as you're pacing your ammo shots, like you never have to reload. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty nice. I love Dragon Shadow. <laughs> Yeah, Chris. Dragon Shadow is amazing. It's such a great one. Just 110% yeah. handling or whatever. Oh, it's yeah, so it's good. great. All I'm you saying, never have to reload. All I'm saying is if you haven't busted out the Xenophage since you got it, now's the time. Dust it off. Check it out. You're going to like it. You're going to feel like a legit heavy gunner. Yeah, it's a cool gun. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very fun. What are the weapons you chasing, Sweat? Uh, I mean, at the moment, I uh, actually last night I spent twelve thousand legendary shards, all of them, trying Ooh, to get the, twelve thousand the, the last hope. Yeah, what? that uh, the special sidearm, and now I'm broke on legendary shards. And it's, the last hope. What were you trying to get for a roll on that? Uh, feeding frenzy, and then whatever multi damage perk clip. it comes with. Uh, yeah, like multi kill clip or whatever. Literally any damage perk would be fine if I could get those two together. But yeah, I, yeah. Many, Twelve thousand shards later, no dice. How many last hopes nope. did you walk out with? <laughs> uh, I think I got six. So Ooh. pretty bad. Those yeah, are like Vegas odds, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's rough. It remind me the last hope was available in year one and is now yep. just available again. Okay. Yep, it's available now with random rolls. So it's pretty well, spicy. Pretty good one now, at right? least. Yeah. yeah, old fashioned aerials. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? What kind of what kind of sidearm is? is so it's, it? a, uh, it's a burst one. Burst, three shot burst. So. Yeah. Okay. I Man, like... out of nowhere, sidearms, huh? 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> I They've been, not they've been hitting, man. It's good stuff. What do you think about that new linear fusion rifle? I've not gotten a chance to use it yet. Visually, it's badass. Visually, it's awesome. It? Oh, yeah. Feels like it has pretty high aim assist, too. Mm hmm. Are you talking about the the ritual one or the the sundial one? Sundial, yeah. No, not the ritual one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was wondering. Yeah, I like I did all the kills for it, but I still haven't picked it up yet for the ritual one. Gotcha. Yeah, the sundial one's really good, and you can get um, firing line in rapid mm -hmm. hit, right? Mm -hmm. I think rapid hit. Yeah, I think so. Firing line's a big so, one. Yeah. Yeah. If you get firing line on that, it's it, doesn't it compete with Izanagi's or in the same class? Uh, it might be up there, but I'm I'm not sure if it quite out damages Izanagi's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the catalyst, that'd be to be shocking. Yeah, well, it's firing line gives a thirty percent increase when you're next to your teammates. I thought it was, it was twenty five to thirty. 25? Yeah, I thought it was twenty five. There. Yeah, plus they got buffed uh, with the patch when the new season dropped. Mm -hmm. So it's like a couple things I, stacking on there. Yeah, I guess yeah, it shoots faster though, doesn't it? The the linear fusion, I'm assuming. Yeah. Then is Nagis. So, mm -hmm. like, that's good. Well, meaning if you're doing a honed edge, <laughs> like, loading one ball, uh -huh. fire, reload, it's actually the, you know, the full DPS versus, like, per crit. I'm sure per crit it's lower. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. um, anyway, I want to try this out. I, I don't remember what the name yeah, is. Yeah, I want to try this out, too. It's on one of the new obelisks. Is that it? Yeah. Mars, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. Oh, that was on the first week. Yeah. It's on. In other words, I was just wondering, did anything did it launch with this week's? I haven't no. done all my obelisk stuff yet. Oh, it was the previous no, week. No, this week you can get the fusion rifle and you can get the scout rifle, I believe. Okay. Somebody can correct me if I'm Isn't wrong. Isn't that the that. sidearm as well? Wait, oh, no, maybe. that's Traveler's Judgment. Yeah, yeah. The, the original sidearm, yeah, was the first, mm -hmm. first week. Okay. Yeah, because I think you're right. That's where you get... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say they unlocked EDZ and Nessus this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So the EDZ I can't touch, so I'm just like not going there. All right. I yep. pressed it once and then I left. Yeah, we should talk about that. So apparently it's a yeah. bug right now that if yeah. you are in a zone where someone else has completed it, I think. Basically, if you're in a zone with someone else and there is a discrepancy on whether you have or haven't completed it, it blocks completed anybody what? from being able to access the um, the sundial thing, the obelisk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just keep yep. on reloading until you can get in there and, and access it. It took me... Seven tries to hit it the first time, and then I was like, "I'm just gonna leave it until they fix it." And if they don't, oh, okay, oh well. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. I'm not. I'm not spending the whole play time just going back and forth trying to hit a button. Right. True. I would imagine it's they try and time. fix that pretty quick. That's a pretty big bug. If they can, I would it hope is. so. Yeah. 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 It is around Christmas, so I don't know. That's true too. Does that still think that you can set your time to where you do or don't load in with other people? I I was hearing something about that yesterday as well. Apparently, if you're on, I think you can do it on console. If you set your time back and then load in, you should be good to go. But mm -hmm. I'm not 100% sure about that. So Got it. So you have to. Time to get on console, to everybody. Got to no. go yeah. back to console. <laughs> Just to go to the EDZ. I'm going to set the time back on my Stadia. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> so what, do you play on console at all still or no? Uh, I mean, when I do Destiny 1, I do, but otherwise, no. Nah. How often do you go back to Destiny 1? Like every few months or so. Really? Sometimes we'll nice. do like a goofy challenge or just go screw around. So That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Have you forced Chevy to go back to D1 with you yet? Not yet. I uh, I have I some things it. in mind, and I was going to ask Sir Sheverson if he wanted to participate. <laughs> well, we'll see. Yes, he needs to. Yeah. He's so be good. Imagine not knowing who Saint-14 is. It's crazy, right? Imagine not knowing anything about the Destiny world and the highlights. All those raids. Like, the, the raids in D1 were, were really fun. I imagine everyone should experience them. Imagine yeah. killing Crota for the first time as a nightmare. <laughs> so weird. Right? That's yeah. true. <laughs> it's got to be strange. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What do you think of the dawning this year? It's all right. Yeah. I mean, it feels like a, a lot like last year, but it's I mean, just, I yeah. guess it's basically the same thing. Yeah. They can't like change the whole thing up, I guess, but pretty it's, it's something to do, good. so I can't complain, you know? 
one thing that is good is because we're getting double XP, like before we'd just be getting mm -hmm. what engrams from it, but this time we're actually leveling up our season pass yeah. with the double XP. So it's yep. it feels like I'm getting more from it. Yeah, that mm -hmm. is kind of cool. Yeah. That I was gonna say I noticed that. That was the first thing. I was like, oh yeah. And people were telling me you get more experience from those bounties. I was like, well, that definitely is a reason to do that stuff. But outside of that, I never The really bounties got... are pretty general too, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Like you it's can like pretty kill much... Cabal, you know. Yeah, I can do that. I've killed a lot of Cabal. Exactly. <laughs> Jump in the sundial. <laughs> um, kill some Cabal. It, yeah, it is. It is a good way to like just level up your artifact and season pass, right? Um, yep. So it's good for that. I never got into baking cookies. I was trying to remember, like, what do we really get out of you it? You never got into it? Yeah, not really. I, I know I baked like 45 to 50 because it still tracks from last year, I think, right? And how many you've. Because I saw that. It was telling me I already did like 45 or it was somewhere in there. I was like, wait, I didn't. I only did this bake <laughs> one cookie. And then so I think it tracks. Um, it's retroactive it? baking. I guess Fran's so. not into baking. The world is baking. disappointed. Do you, how do you yeah. feel about visiting Ava and you see the dis disappointment in her eyes looking at you? <laughs> <laughs> not baking. It's hard. It's hard to. Yeah. I mean, she's such a sweet grandma and you're just like, I'm not going to bake. sweet grandma. <laughs> I'm not gonna bake. You gave me this oven for free. I don't care. She I'm, got, not, I'm not baking. She got you an early Christmas gift with this oven, and you're not gonna bake <laughs> cookies in it. Unbelievable. All right, maybe. But seriously, what do you get out of all of it? Does it like what do you get? You, you for, can get um. You, so you get can actually Ava's get love. the cold. You can get cold front if that, you bake cookies yeah. and turn oh, it yeah. in. You get random rolls on cold front. On an SMG. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. cold front is pretty good too. Yeah. yeah, it's got like no recoil at all. Hmm. At any point, ever. It's <laughs> cool. The avalanche too. That's a. Uh, yeah, you can get the avalanche. Oh, you can get. Oh, avalanche is back. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, mm -hmm. neither did I. Yeah, I've gotten two. I've gotten two avalanches, which is it's just nice to have the like a solar machine gun to switch it up for any kind of stuff that's going on. Nice. So I, I whip out the avalanche sometimes, even though that thing is <sighs> thing is all over the place. The recoil. avalanches. Egg avalanche, yeah. It's like delirium, right? Same archetype. It's like worse yeah. in terms of like how Bad much delirium. it everywhere. <laughs> it's funny you say that because uh, it's pretty bouncy. Yeah. Well, you're talking about maybe in PvP, right? I assume, or just period just in general. Okay, yeah, because me, I like using it, but I think it's because I like the design of it. Um, and yeah, I ju just was remembering that you know you can only get during the dawning, right? So it's nice to have that. How did you get like you're Avalanche without baking cookies? Well, I must no. I mean, I told you I did. <laughs> I must bake. have baked some cookies. <laughs> I baked last year. He's gonna bake I and just, run, Fran. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Probably that was it. I got my my one delirium or my got one, your uh, avalanche. avalanche. You're like bye, Ava. Mm -hmm. That was basically you know that's <laughs> that's just how it goes. So uh, great. Fran's out here baking people's grandmas anyway. <laughs> Bacon grandmas. Bacon grandmas. <laughs> bacon cookies. and running grandmas. <laughs> you monster. Oh, you got to bake a ton of cookies and then you get an old front. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, the black talon ornament. Oh, Pretty that's cool. sick. That looks mm -hmm. nice. Okay. That does look good. Isn't so that? Can you get that with? I think that's going to be available for Bright Dust. Yeah. It was. That you can one. get everything from the dawning for Bright Dust except the finisher, okay. the skating finisher. That's Question. Right. How yes. do I buy everything from the Dawning with Bright Dust when I'm Bright Dust broke all the time? Bake Oof. cookies and do your bounties to get hey, Bright oh. Dust. Jesus. There it is. Oh, God. <laughs> you got to so get to baking. baking. <laughs> How much Bright Dust can I acquire from that? Oh, as much as you want. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, with unlimited time in a day. I mean, <laughs> How much? You just got to gotta play. BPH. No, BDPH, <laughs> bright dust per bright hour. Bright dust per hour. That's the number we all need. BDP. Dude, I am bright dust broke, out. man. I had like thousands, thousands. <laughs> and now I'm just like, where did the bright dust go? Yeah, same here. I went after that Imperium armor because I really liked it. I thought it was the best armor that came out of Destiny in a long time. So I bought it all up like as it became available. And now I'm bright dust broke. Yep. Yeah, welcome to the club. I have plenty because I've been buying silver, so take that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of want to spend a bunch of money on the ornaments, but I'm like, no. You know what I kind of want is a Twitter. I Maybe this actually exists. I'm going to put this out to the audience. Is I want a 
Twitter person who I can follow who tells me what's available for Bright Dust this week. Mm. Bungie's been doing that, actually. Yeah. Yeah, Bungie's been Where? tweeting out um, on their Twitter. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> they have been saying, like, what's not. They tweet? That what's silver only. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, they've okay. been, they put out, like, this week you'll only be able to get this thing for silver. What else? Yeah, I just want like a list. Like, here's yeah, all the stuff that's available this week. Started doing them. Here's all the stuff that's available this week for Bright Dust. That's what the Cryptarchs Twitter should just be now. I think there's a Reddit thread that's showing what's going to be Bright Dust for like the next four weeks. I'm pretty oh, sure oh, someone yeah. linked that recently. So if you want to like oh. see what's coming up, I'm Actually, sure somebody's got that link. Could, well, we Forecast need. your. It's the best community on the inter- yeah. on Reddit. Yep. You know, it it's is one of them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> voted for by. <laughs> Universe. I like how you can we forecast just... your bright dust spending with that. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I was going to say we need an that's updated right. uh, budget infographic. <laughs> that would be nice. See, that's just what you're talking about, Fran. You don't want to see text. You want to see nah, a nice pie that chart. requires reading. You want to have yeah. like Pictures. a fallen captain with some swords right next to it being like, <laughs> bright dust. <laughs> you know, <it's> like, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah, something to glow, glow effect yeah. with it. Yeah, I like feel you. This. I'm with you on that. I'd look at that chart. But then you can actually see, like, the actual stuff. Like, it probably exists out there, but we'll keep an eye out. Um, but basically, I wouldn't read guys... chat to see if it's available, but I'm afraid to see Star Wars toilet. Um, there's yeah. a there. website <laughs> called uh, todayindestiny.com. Todayindestiny.com. Today in Destiny. Yeah. You know what this is going to be? I'm going to go to this website. It's going to be Star Wars spoilers. Yeah, don't go there. Oh my. I can look for you. Uh, Make sure. Well, today in Destiny, I've never heard of this. Cool. So I've been doing a crap load of bounties because I wanted that heavy finisher. And yeah. my Bright Dust situation is looking grim. So I just want to say, I've been doing those bounties, man. I've been... I've been, You've been baking a lot? I've been baking Are you baking some. right now? No, because my computer is on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> it's being used right now for the call. You just need a third computer. Briar, you're yeah. right, man. You need a bright dust computer. Damn. A bright dust farming computer. <laughs> bright dust farming computer. In the works. That's great. Maybe we can uh maybe we can start a farming farming site for bright dust. The best way to do it? That's what the Account recovers should be for bright doing. dust. Yeah, that's what they should be doing. Instead of spending silver, Although- spend it on a recove. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Don't get bungee your really money. Work, does it? Give that <laughs> random guy your money. Gosh. Yeah. Give it to the shady dude on the internet. Five star rating on eBay. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Hi, we're DCP, and we'll be your shady guy on the internet. <laughs> I think we are right now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, anything else oh, happened yeah. this week with the dawning and all that? Oh. The dawning? I mean, that's no, story but that stuff. we got like, yeah, yeah we got stuff. the new story stuff. We got the new Sundial boss who's all like electrical and stuff. Oh, I didn't face and... the boss yet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How, how is it? Inspired by Thor. He's yeah. cool. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. I want his I want his flare mantle is what I want. The cape. Mm-hmm. We need the capes. Yeah, they're yeah. literally wearing them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're yeah. wearing the same thing. Oh, are these the ones you had speculated early on, Watts, about? Maybe hard mode. I'm I'm holding out hope yeah. though. Hard mode killing those bosses gives you their mantle. Man, imagine not playing D1 and not knowing about the flare caves. <laughs> I know. Imagine. Wow. Imagine. <laughs> That's got to be hard, man. Yeah, I hope they drop uh, that has become like some sort of cosmetic in the future. That'd be nice. I would totally equip that. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be found in the Eververse store when hard mode comes out <laughs> as an ornament that you can buy. <laughs> I'd buy it. In a <laughs> <laughs> so, same 14 quest. Yes. Spoils. Spoilers Are for we anybody. Spoiling? Oof. Well, I mean, it's a show I'm about the last destiny. Step. I don't mind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a show about destiny. It takes about 30 minutes to an hour to get the the whole thing yeah, right. done, so. Mhm. I thought it was really cool. Uh, yeah. 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 It's yeah. really good. I possibly one of the best quests. In terms of story that like Destiny or Bungie has done, yeah, Cut and the, mm-hmm. the, everything yep. the the place that they take us to that's that's just white, white out is beautiful. It's really cool being in there. I wanted to just explore and just take screenshots the whole time while being in there. Mm-hmm. It's really cool. Yeah, I like it a lot. I've actually heard a lot of people say that this is their favorite 
lore kind of storytelling in Destiny ever, mm -hmm. which is a big deal. Yes. Yeah. Where would you guys rank it? Is it your favorite that Bungie's favorite story Bungie's told or the way they've told it? The only thing I don't like about it is how I got to wait. Like, it's time gated. Yeah. Like, if I could have just done it in, like, one shot, I feel like I would have gotten a greater impact out of it. But yeah. I do like it a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot. I agree with that. That's understandable. So you wanted more. Got to stretch out the season. Yeah. <laughs> Weird, right? I wanted more. I just wanted more. Oh. And faster. <laughs> See, I actually kind of like the wait stuff. Yeah, I do too. I, I yeah. like that the story progresses over a season, and now it's like leading into new seasons. I kind of like that approach of every week there's a reason to log in and be like, okay, what's going on with the story this week? Um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I kind I kind of like that, mm -hmm. but I understand why people wouldn't mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, it's really cool how they did it. Just like you go back in time, you're talking with them. There's that little twist about the the guardian that Osiris was always saying, like, or, or Saint Fourteen was always talking about a guardian who inspired him or something like that. And like they did a little time twist with that whole thing. You become the guardian. With that, yep. just it's really cool. It's I think yeah, it's really it's, well done. It's really, uh, yeah, you feel like you. It reminded me of the what was the quest for the gun where the ghost talked about in Destiny One, the very end of Destiny One. Uh the the Vostok Kvostok quest. Remember that Kvostov? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh, like the revamped one. Yeah. Mm. Oh, where you sit on the 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 ship balcony and you like. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? And everyone cried. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, so they uh we got to save Saint 14, have an epic uh, boss battle there too, which was And he's going to be mm -hmm. in the tower next week. Next week. Right. He's going to beat up Zavala and take his job. <laughs> he might. <laughs> <Hopefully>. <laughs> but apparently so his shotgun Titan is actually shotgun. there right now, but mm -hmm. it's Where is it? it but it's not supposed to be. Oh really? Yeah. It's floating in the hangar. Yeah, it's kind of just it's floating. <laughs> it's yeah. just like in it's, the air. Yep. <laughs> just chilling. Maybe that's where he's gonna post up. I guess. Did Bungie confirm this that that was an error? It wasn't supposed to be there, or have they said? I anything? believe they did on Reddit. Yeah, and then they said that he'll be here next week because people have cookies for him. So yeah. I was gonna say that the cookies yeah. are gonna be stale. Like, what am I supposed to do with them? <laughs> Fresh Can you batch. imagine baking? He deserves them. no less. Baking all those cookies and let them <laughs> sit for a whole week? Come on. Fran's not making any cookies for him. Yeah. yeah. Heck you know his stance on that. I'm going to get an account recovery for that. The best, the best baker out there. Fran's Googling how to break a grandma's heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so St. 14th going to be in the uh, the tower officially next week then. If they fix whatever thing was happening. Christmas. Is he? Are we going to end up with two Titan Vanguards? Is that what's happening? No, no. he's just going to kick them all out. <laughs> Yeah, he could boot him. I mean, that's the hope, but like Zavala, Zavala will be right there on the ledge, and he just walks up, cutscene, you know, punches him, <laughs> flies off the edge. I don't know if that would go down very well with the people. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs Eververse's shirt on the way down, pulls her too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Let's do cool. that. <laughs> Somebody in chat was talking about how uh wouldn't it be cool if Saint 14 was the voice for Charles of Osiris? For like or a new game mode. Yeah. Maybe I could see that. That'd be cool. Era. That would be cool. Because the way yeah. I'd like that. the way he's like talking about you when you're doing stuff, he's like, This is or magnificent. <laughs> he's saying something Wait, like that. Is Saint mm -hmm. 14 like our brother Vance? Huh. Whoa! He had, he, I mean, he had, he was always talking about a guardian Whoa. who he admired, and he's like, "Oh my god, this guardian! I love him so much." <sighs> that's been, I guess, <laughs> what I've been speculating about actually is he's being set up to do that. Right? Wow! <laughs> it really sheds a whole new light on say fourteen. <laughs> he went from super cool to super creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Watts just ruined say fourteen. You're welcome. <laughs> <It's obvious. laughs> Uh, well, then it, then it checks out. Maybe he will run trials because he's brother man. Makes sense. I would love his voice as that. It's so over the top. Yeah, Bitch, it's fun, um, right? Yeah, could be good. It'd be really cool. 
What do you think about Trials coming next season? Sweat? I don't... Mm. Do you think it's going to happen? Were you a fan? I, Were you a fan of Trials back in the day? Oh, dude. Absolutely. I mean, back in Destiny 1, I like... I guess for there was like... I'd say for the first like year and a half, maybe I was I was big into Crucible. Like, wasn't really much of a PVE guy, but kind of flip flopped that eventually. But um, Trials was it was amazing, just like everybody else. Absolutely mm -hmm. loved it every single weekend. Come home from school, grind till Monday. Trials, no, yeah. nice. So do you think there? Well, wasn't that, weren't there like more leaks to do with it? Like they found. I can't remember what it was. They found something in the, the that's card, been coded maybe? into the game or something that I... talks about trials. Oh, some actual dialogue? Like a lore tab or something? I don't I don't remember what it was. I saw it briefly on the, Twitter. The, the, Are you talking about like the, the card thing that popped up on screen? No, there was another that one. That looked so fake to me. I don't know if that was ever proven. They wasn't not, fake. But... No, they, That they, was they, not fake. That they, was real? Yeah, yeah. Real. Yep. It was so weird the way the clip went, so I didn't buy it. it, it but yeah, it seems too... Unlikely, I guess, but so that's been okay. Confirmed. Yeah, so it, it was by Ginzer, who, if anyone knows who that is, like his stuff generally is pretty correct in what he finds. So there's a link in chat right now, which I can put, um, I can put in again because it got timed out. But that is the image that they were able to find. I am looking at and this image like right a, now. Looks like a trials, yeah, that's thing, true. but that's trials of the mm. that's trials, trials of nine. Of nine. nine. Trials of Nine yeah. is like booty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> you bring up Trials of Nine, people are like, yeah, I think I'm out. People are like, no thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah. We need Trials of Saint Fourteen for Nine. You know, but may, I wonder. I want Trials of Osiris. But what if Trials of Saint Fourteen involved lots of headbutting? <laughs> you know, like the last match was headbutt only. <laughs> yeah, on the card, it's like. Headbutt finish. Instead of heavy only. round, it's a headbutt Whoever round. Whoever can press the yes, finish headbutt button. round. <laughs> <laughs> you literally both have to run into the center. And like... <laughs> Perfect. You you nailed it, Tept. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. And then he says his lines. To worry about. You can't just go run around headbutt and stuff willy-nilly. This is a modern <laughs> age. You got to worry about <laughs> trauma, head trauma. Yeah, that's right. What are his lines in the trailer <laughs> at that moment? You're, uh, what does he say? Oh, it's such, a, it's such a good line. Fight like an animal? You fight like an animal. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's yeah. Like, poosh, yeah, it's so headbutt. good. Perfect. Double kill would be you fight like an animal. Oh, man, so. now, yeah. I want to hear a bunch of lines like that in Same. Crucible Trials, whatever. Like, it's funny because I'm imagining hearing that kind of dialogue while you're in an intense match of Trials. Like, it actually, I don't know that that's a good match. Like with a you know a three v three like it's pretty intense. I don't remember Shax even saying a ton during trials, but maybe you're just so focused, right? Like the Shax yeah. like even shout as much in trials. I don't remember at this point. As yeah, much as no, I he could. would say his thing. He would say the same types of things. Huh? When you okay. get like you know double kill or whatever. Yeah, the same deal then. At the okay. beginning around all that. But yeah, they could take the the gambit style where he like trash talks you for losing around. <laughs> <laughs> Step it up. Yeah, he'd be, be like, "Why do you bitch? Step it up." Yeah. <laughs> Eat more potato and drink vodka. Is he Russian? I think I don't know. Did we figure that out? I don't know, but I'm I'm going with it. For the oh, there's Jamaican. Oh, weird. I totally misinterpreted <laughs> that. Yeah, man, you fight like a caged animal, man. Bobsled. <laughs> Yeah, I like this idea too. Actually, this is <laughs> way better. <laughs> or he brings back yes. SRL. And that's his like you know this is lines yeah. That's his thing. Just yeah. put his voice in everything at this point. Everything I'm down. you do, right? Make it a voice pack. Yeah, yeah. He just <laughs> screams at you. Put that voice actor on retainer. Every time you like switch <laughs> weapons or equip a mod, he's yelling, yelling, yelling. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, that mod. You're an animal. You like, shut up. <laughs> trying to equip a mod. <laughs> uh, so yeah, anything else this week? That Not happens? a whole lot going on this week. We got uh, uh, Lord Saladin will be back next week with Iron Banner. Oh, the Iron Banner. Iron, Iron Banner. Banner. Rise Get up. your pinnacles. Yep. Pinnacle time. When 
does Mayhem Control come back? That's what I want to know. Because uh, I still got to get Randy's. Mm. Randy's is great. Holy crap. I started using it. It's a good Legit. Gun. Damn. I was surprised. Yeah. Also, I've been using it with Antibarrier. Antibarrier is really nice for Randy's because you got the <laughs> range if you're in the 980 Nightfall. Yeah. The only problem is you have to give up Iznagi's. Iznagi's is fantastic. But, yeah. but Randy's, man. Randy's is great for that bread and butter scout rifle. That's good. I should say, I got to mention this, though, and I feel like, Taft, you, you definitely will appreciate this. I have exactly 69% progress on Oof. those scout kills. Nice. Everything else is locked. It's a tough call, like, man. Do, I... do you go for yeah, it? Yeah, I don't know. Frank, it's a tough one. See what I'm saying? I think you just leave it. I think you just leave it. Just retire it. You, you got at least got a screenshot it and put it on Twitter. Exactly. <laughs> like, serious, immortalize it at minimum. Ex yeah. That is my exact progress. I'm like, mm, I don't know, man. Yeah, just leave it. <laughs> I want to retire that one. Just go for an Osiris uh, scout rifle. Yeah. Sundial scout. Uh, <laughs> friend of the show, Wilson, uh, 309, stopped playing Crimson Days at 69 wins. So is. <laughs> You know really? how, yeah, the nice. emblem counts the, the, or oh, is, that's the amount great. of wins or the amount of games <laughs> on the emblem. It says 69 forever. That's <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. That's, that's, good stuff. <laughs> that's great. One thing we did see from the TWAB, which was pretty sad, was that there was going to be an Iron Banner bow. But they oh, had to push it to season that. 10. No. Oh, really? So yes. that bow that we saw art. in the art was real yeah and that that's why they wanted to be super transparent about that because obviously people saw a bow and then if there wasn't the bow people would be like what the hell bungee so yeah it's yeah. coming in yeah. uh, season 10 so i'm glad they talked about it because yes yeah yeah yes, it's good that they talk 10. about it get it out of the way people will still be upset about it yeah. uh but yeah like i i like it when they're when they kind of confront these things head on and mm. like hey is anybody you know, truly sad though that you can't get a bow <laughs> Maybe it's like the best bow we've ever seen. No. Just the best yeah. bow. Better than Hush? Yeah. Just the best bow. Hmm. An Iron Lord's bow. From their dead decaying what would body. It do? The Iron Quill. Yeah, because Iron, Iron Quill. Quill. That's, like a, that's a pretty worth... good name. I like it. I like it. I like a friend, yeah. It's, it's got to have a new perk. I don't like it that much. <laughs> no? <laughs> Well, everybody Peach else doesn't know about how much they like it. I just yeah. want to be country. <laughs> Iron Quill sounds great. I like it. Iron Quill. But yeah, when I read that, uh, I was like, oh, the, no bow. Yeah. Oh, well. And the, but wasn't it supposed to I'll be have like to use a, one of the other ones I'm not using. Wasn't it supposed to be a ritual bow, though? Like something special? Really? An Iron Banner ritual? Well, I'm just oh, wondering why something. they couldn't bring it. Right, because that's they, what I was gonna ask. Like they are still working on something to do with that bow, so I don't yeah, know if like, one of the perks are broken or what. Yeah. Well, they gotta they gotta change all the uh, the art and the uh, the lore text now that Fran's given it a better name than it had. Yeah, they're going back. So yeah. apparently, <laughs> they're like, oh shit! <laughs> apparently, it rolled with Vorpal weapon. Vorpal oh. weapon on a bow <laughs> would be pretty disgusting. What does Vorpal do again? It makes you do more damage against. Guardians that have their super bosses and vehicles. And bosses. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in the Crucible, having a bow that with Vorpal would be pretty spicy. Could be fun. Do we think it's a heavy bow? We don't know, I guess. I don't think so. I wouldn't yeah. assume yeah. so. Yeah, right? Um, we already got our exotic heavy bow, so yeah. it kind of ruin that slot otherwise. Huh? Yeah, how do you feel about the bows right now, Sweat? Just overall in like the sandbox, how do you feel about the bows? You know, like, were you expecting them to hit a different target? Did we lose him? Sweat, you there? Hello? Hello? <laughs> yeah. I cut out for a second. What's good? Oh, okay. okay. Good. It's funny because he oh had that God. look in his eye when you asked the question. You're like, what do you think of the bows? Is? And I just saw Sweat was like. <laughs> just blank. Just like. He did like the like double take thing. Like. <laughs> Something bows. <laughs> Tef, what'd bows. you ask? Again? I was saying, what do you? How do you feel about bows in Destiny right now? Like, have you know, where are they at for um, you with the archetypes, I've, and the way they feel in the game? 
I've never really been a big fan, but Wish Ender is actually bugged right now, so it's doing like I think th almost three times the intentional damage. So it's it's a lot of fun to use, and that's I don't know, it's kind of like a power fantasy for the bow that I've been waiting for. But other than that, I'm not too excited about him really. Can you explain that bug actually? Because I'm like, how how do you make that work with Wish Ender? Um, it it literally it just works. You don't have oh. to do anything. So it's, it's just for whatever reason. I I think it's a bug. They haven't said anything about it, but yeah, um, it's doing like three times the damage that it used to do, and I it, I don't know why. To less the numbers honestly. don't read yeah. out <laughs> three times though, or do they? Sweat because it, I it depends on the shot. Yeah, it, it, like mm -hmm. um, when you when you hit a target, there's like a random amount of like splash hits that it mm. gets. So that, like, I guess it kind of varies the actual number that you're getting consistently, but hmm. maybe. Hmm. But yeah, meaning people told me about it, and I was just using it on like uh, public, you know, majors or whatever. And it, mm -hmm. it, I definitely noticed the bar tick down. But when I was hitting them, it'd say like whatever two thousand, and I was like, I mean, for as slow as it was, I was like, that's okay, not crazy. But apparently, you know, the bigger the damage bar, the more I think it might be doing or something. I didn't. I haven't tried it on uh, raid bosses or anything, but. I know yeah. that it's crazy from what I've heard. Yep. But like in other words, I expected to like grab it, go in, and like body shot any enemy, and they just like the way people were describing it. To just me. eviscerate. No, no. Yeah, but it was like the bar. If you watch the bar when you're using it, it just like doosh. It does like take really big damage. Yep. Mm. And the fact that it's not increased in PvP, I kind of feel like maybe you could just keep it because Wish Ender was never <laughs> particularly used. Yep. And now it's being used. So, other oh. than the eggs, of course. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Everyone right. just use it for the eggs. Forgot about that. Egg finder. <laughs> See, it's too bad that something has to be bugged for that archetype or bows in general to feel like they're interesting to use. I was hoping for more damage from Leviathan's Breath because it does shoot so slowly mm -hmm. that it, I would love it to just chunk damage. Because it's fun to use. Yeah. Well, well I did the triple hey, bow. Bows are fun, I think. Mm -hmm. Bows are, like, super fun to use. Like, they feel good. They, they fire good. It's just that they're not, like, useful. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So I did that triple bow build a while back. It was a lot of fun to use on my hunter. I liked it a lot. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, Leviathan's Breath, it's like, oh, my God, that draw time. Because you pull yeah. it back, and then it's like, you're ready, right? No. <laughs> then, <laughs> now it's ready. <laughs> You have to do that every time. Mm -hmm. You guys want to do some Twitter questions? Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Jostel Porton says, of all the day one raids that you've gone into, which one did you have the most fun in? <laughs> I mean, same answer as earlier. Last wish. It just, I love Last the most wish. difficult experience that you can give me throw it at me i just i want to get laid out by the enemies until i learn to do better than the ai so to speak <laughs> nice so. it was vault of glass oh well it was my day sorry day one of the raid launch or is it my day one <laughs> i think it's your day one yeah right. yeah but i i just because i was super busy and destiny required a lot more grinding than i had planned for at the time having a full-time job and all that but anyway eventually mm -hmm got up to play Vault of Glass and went straight into hard mode with a, a team that had already done it a lot. And just, it was just a ton of fun. I didn't know what I was doing, but the feeling similar to even what you're saying, Sweat, when I got amazing drops at the end of that, that was the first time that I, I screamed because Vex and, uh, yep. cause it was double drops on hard mode. And I legitimately, it was like two thirty three a.m. in the morning. I, <laughs> I don't get that way with games, but that one, I was like, Oh yes, yes. You know, like jumping off the couch and um, I haven't had as much as I've been excited by raids since then. That moment in particular was the first, you know, really big dose of destiny. <laughs> it's one you won't forget for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. That's a tough one. I've had a lot I, of good day one raids. I, I kind of feel like Taken King yeah. was really special. That I mean, was a good one. All of them were great, but yeah. I think for me, maybe Wrath of the Machine. Um, there was just a lot of really cool set pieces in there where where you saw it for the first time it was like damn that's really cool um so yeah so yeah. so for for a first experience of a raid i think that offered a lot of cool experiences the, lots that, that was a good one too because it was so action-packed i love that that's my yeah. favorite type is being super action-packed mm -hmm. yeah 
You know, I really had a good time in the last one that we did, Garden of yeah. Salvation. Like, I, I was having yeah. a blast during that entire raid. Like, the <laughs> the way we were, it kept us moving around a lot. Mm -hmm. in building. Yeah, build, yeah, it was Constantly. like, there's not building. Yeah. Constantly building. <laughs> I was got him. He was like, yeah, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 building, building. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I was having a, a real good time. Like, I felt like it was a fun place to be. Uh, they're fun. Like, the, the challenges were fun. Like, split up into two different teams, always being mobile. Like, kind of a Wrath of the Machine vibe in that way, that you always have to be mobile. You always have to be doing stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it was just a good experience. Yeah, yep. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I was going to say, that now that you mentioned Wrath Watts, that was the first one that I actually took time off of work to play day one. Oh, um, nice. So when you mentioned I was like, actually, that might be it, because it was just a lot of fun. And I also remember, I don't even remember why. Oh, I know. Um, when you get to the, uh, what, what they call the, the, what's the thing that goes across the hockey rink and... Uh, it smooths out the ice. The Zamboni. Z Zamboni. So when you get to the Zamboni, <laughs> right, you guys know the part. There's the the guitar riff kicks in every time yes. at the beginning. Oh, I just yeah. remember with the raid team, like we just started making all these amazing jokes about that. Like who was playing the guitar and and it was the cue to like do your stuff too. But um, yeah, I had a ton of fun of that. Uh, that was a good one. I forgot about the Zamboni. That was a really fun yeah. part of that raid. It was cool. Yep. It's a good raid. Yep. Uh, Dunmiff Sis says, uh, this one's for Sweat. Which weapon that you have tested on Kallus has melted him the fastest? <laughs> um, oh boy, you're making me think back to because we, we've done we've done so many at this point. Uh hmm. I would either have to say 1K voices before the nerf or Outbreak Prime. Those are both really crispy. Mm -hmm. Or is Anagis? Yeah, that's another one too. Absolutely. Uh, Noodle James says, "Is it better to play raids with Blueberry Friends or an LFG?" Blueberry Friends. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I say Blueberry it's Friends. Kind of depends on the the experience you want. If you want to, like, yeah. you know, be with your friends the first time they ever do a raid, that's a pretty special experience too, because that's a pretty mind expanding experience. There's not a whole lot of experiences in video games that are like doing your first raid in destiny yeah that's a pretty special experience even if it's not your first raid being there with other people when they complete their first raid is actually pretty awesome it is yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah all right polar bear <laughs> says what has been your favorite addition to destiny 2 since the launch of forsaken Ooh. favorite addition since the Armor launch of forsaken Gambit. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Armor 2.0, definitely. The Reckoning. <laughs> Either that or Dungeons. Dungeons are pretty oh. sick. That's true. Yeah, that came with Forsaken. Mm -hmm. Dungeons are call. awesome. Dungeons are, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah we can now say Dungeons plural, so you act like there's right? so many of them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the dungeons. Well, yep. the two of them. But all yeah. two of them. That's the concept, right? The concept of a longer raid like experience for a three man mm -hmm. fire team for three. It's just bringing no, back that... to Crota. It's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, that would be frankly, right. I think, I don't know what the value would be, but if we could just get a new dungeon every uh, season, you know, so for a year oh. at some point, like again, Ooh. I feel like that's, at, it's a little different than asking for a raid every season, but there, there are, is a I don't know if out. it's too different than yeah. what you would think like they, if you think about all of the environments in there the loot that's in there the mechanics the boss yeah. like there's there's it's a still... lot that goes into a dungeon yeah definitely i just feel like it's not like it's four mechanical encounters across six people with a t and i'm not saying it's easy to make but the reason i say it is i think it represents like yeah a, a lot of like it meets in the middle of all that great stuff you want. You know, you want a raid, you want a strike, you know, you want to have it all to my point, but mm -hmm. that one's in that sweet spot of like, I don't have to play it every week and I'd still be very happy. I got one every season. And this goes back to me, like talking about like, would you ever pay for a subscription? And I'm like, that would get, I'd pay, you know, my, I don't know if it's five bucks a month or whatever, getting destiny to the point where I get that much content. Um, Absolutely. You know, 
I'd do is it. Is the problem, though... Uh, Instead of the Eververse. A, money, a money issue, or is the problem like they just can't make the shit I, fast enough? I think it's probably a time thing more than anything. Like, if you just... Mm-hmm. just if you go into a dungeon and you just look at the area that you're in alone, like that's quite a lot of time that it's going to take to create that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I don't think three months is even long enough to put out something of that detail every mm-hmm. season. Yeah. Well, it is if you have, I mean, it, meaning making these games at this level of polish, of course, is very difficult. But Fortnite, just to use the example, I mean, having over a thousand person team and I'm not saying that I expect Destiny to have that today, but I'm saying it would love to get to the point where imagine you just had one production team on just the dungeon um, yeah, for maybe even twice a year, whatever. But it, I, I'm just being hopeful of uh, seeing – I'm getting excited, yeah, seeing how this stuff's growing, um, the exotic quests and all that. But anyway, Apparently, um, Chevy brought up that for Shattered Throne and the Ride Along, they said it took them six months to create it. Hey, okay. I would love – more dungeons straight up mm-hmm. obviously yeah i don't think anybody's gonna say nah i'm good <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly <But> right <laughs> is it really you know, i do i don't know i do wonder if destiny will right. ever kind of normalize like its content release schedule like over a longer period of time than it has mm-hmm. because it it really does like do fits and starts and it always has and i do someday hope that like it's a more it's a more regular schedule of kind of reliable content than what we get now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's because it's evolving, you know. Like even now, to what we were talking about at the beginning of the show, seeing how Saint Fourteen's quest story, you know, and all is evolving versus what we've seen in the past. And um, yeah, can we expect that now? Every season start going forward and so on. Like we don't know. Right? Yeah, it, it ebbs and flows right now. Like, if I knew, like, every time we get a new season, we we're going to get, you know, one or two multiplayer maps, one or two strikes, yep. you know, a dungeon every every six months and a raid every six months. You know, like, something like that would at least, like, I kind of, you know what to expect. You know, you, you're into the value proposition of everything. To me, it becomes easier to spend money if I know what to expect as opposed mm-hmm. to just shooting it in the dark yep um it, it's not something that destiny's doing real well right now is it they've changed so many times over the last few years of what you should expect out of upcoming content and destiny that you really have no idea what to expect right yeah i Absolutely. mean this when you think about it, it it this is the first season this one that we're starting to experience maybe what they have in mind because they've freed up from activision they got cross save mm-hmm. working they got Shadow Keep even off of the their shoulders in terms of like that being the bigger annual thing. And they're like, well, now we're resetting how seasons work. So really, yeah, especially the next season, we'll get, I think, a much better picture of if we can expect that type of consistency or if they're still experimenting um, yeah. on how and what they add. People who are a little bit, you know, I've heard a little bit of complaining about this season seems a little light in content. But you got to think they were, they were making this season. You know, they didn't make start making the season when Shadowkeep released, right? They've been making it for a long time. Mm-hmm. So, like, how how much of that? How much is the lightness of this season's content? Because you know, well, we had to move off of Blizzard.net and onto Steam. We had to, you know, transition away from Activision. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I, <laughs> there's know? been a like, lot of moving parts, and yeah. yeah. And we don't even know, like, as well, like, obviously, we bring it up on the show sometimes, but with uh, NetEase and all that and whatever's going on with their other IP or whatever, like, people are moving around, and I think there's mm-hmm. been so much that's been changing, but hopefully we're reaching that this point of consistency like we're talking about. But um, I don't know. I feel like it was also the last episode that we're like, do we need a whole new Destiny 3 or Destiny Next? Are we getting tired of mm-hmm. <laughs> these planets? And I don't know. We'll never be happy. No, that's true. But that's okay. Keep it yeah, yeah. There's always going to be complaints and discussions. We're always going to want more. Yeah, and that's the thing. We're always going to want more, just straight up. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's like YouTube. You know, unsubscribe. That's what we all say. And then we just watch the next video as soon as it's up. Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> that's, we're, we're the same people. <laughs> Not playing till Trials gets back. By the way, did you try the Saint 14 quest this week? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Polar Bear says, what has been your favorite addition to Destiny? Oh, we just answered that one. Uh, Regina Mistrust says, 
I just love it if you guys ask him about Addy. Please, you won't regret it. What's up with Addy? She just went outside. That's why. That's why I've been looking around a lot. She's like, she. I think she had to use the bathroom. That's my. That's my dog. When she comes back in, I would be happy to introduce for those who haven't met her before. <laughs> Is she yeah. a new dog? Uh, she's almost two, so she's kind of new, but she's been around. What's What's the breed? Um, I'm not exactly sure on the mix. We know she's part German Shepherd because she was adopted. Mm. Um, awesome. Yeah, her and her sisters were found in a trash bag in a ditch in oh, man. so it was oh like God. worst possible scenario it was, yeah it was this awful. is gonna be like a dodo story and it's gonna make me start crying by the end of it yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna be bawling <laughs> she's a good pup so. to talk away in a trash bag That's jesus fucked. right a lot yeah. of people yeah literally <laughs> worst of the worst people. scenario is like uh, i i just i don't get how people can do that that's insane yeah. no some real Michael yeah. Vick shit right Good. there. It sounds like Addy's happy now, though. Mm -hmm. Yay. Happy pup. Uh, L Baconator says, with the new massive reworks to Dawnblade and Golden Gun, do you guys think we're in for more subclass remodeling? Probably. I think, I think so. if there's, there's anything that feels like it's just not really in the same spot as other stuff, or do, it doesn't have certain things in it that other things do, I think we'll probably see them keep yeah. modifying stuff. At some point, yeah. It makes sense for them to keep I, updating. Yeah, I like them taking passes, too, on each subclass type. Doing yeah. that stuff. I think it's great. Keeps it fresh. It keep, Yeah, exactly. Keeps it fresh. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's like, oh, okay, I can relearn this subclass now. I get to, you know, experiment with a subclass that I haven't touched in two years because, you know, it just wasn't that good. Exactly. Now I get to completely go through it and see if I like it again. Yep. Yeah, what's the highlights for you, Sweat, that you've had uh, with the the new uh changes favorite things top tree don blade you can you can use that double dash to gain dash. so much speed when sword skating it's it's nuts mm. that's cool i yeah. have yet to try top tree i actually have yet to log into my warlock oh boy you're missing out <laughs> i mean while you're streaming offline <laughs> we know the time oh my management. god <laughs> Uh, Locke says, has Destiny become a game for streamers and hardcore only players? With the three-month season model, I'm finding myself now less inclined to start a loot grind each season due to real-life commitments plus low percent chance of completing quests in only the 90-day time frame. I mean, for the new sidearm, you can literally do five strikes and complete it. So yeah. I think those changes are definitely not going towards more hardcore people. They've made... The comp gun, you have to get way less points than before. So I would say that things are in certain places are getting much more achievable by someone who can't put in a ton of time. Mm -hmm. In a perfect world, there's something for everybody. There's something for, uh, you know, Locks here who doesn't have as much time, but he still feels like every time he logs in, he makes progress towards something. Uh, but then there's also longer term, tougher goals. Um, you know, like, you know, like the season titles, seals, titles. Yeah. Like yeah. that's a perfect world. And, uh, you know, you can't make everybody happy, but you try and make every, as many people as you can happy. I feel like they're in a pretty good spot with that, too. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like they're in a good spot, too. I feel like if you have like an hour to dedicate a day or even two hours a week, that's enough time to get some of these weapons done mm -hmm. or and you know long enough for you to chip away at other things too yeah i mean you also haven't i don't know like meaning you have until like next september probably so it's not like you don't have enough time but i understand the feeling of next september well i was just saying in general right like we have this year of content mm -hmm. and people in other words act like oh well that's right i guess because of the seasons though that's right which yeah, the, that's right. The things that'll go the away. ritual stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Things that'll go away is the seal and the weapons from the the dial, the sundial. But yeah, yeah aside for from that, you know, you could pretty you much have, get everything else. Right. Yeah. So there's still a lot. But meaning, in other words, sometimes people treat this stuff like I got to do it this season. But as long as it lasts, like all like that, it's a relevant weapon. I mean, you don't have to rush to get it. Yeah. You yeah. If you're time it, limited, I would it. definitely just focus on the stuff that is going away in 90 yeah. days. Right. It's like. All right, the the seals, you know the 
the yeah, like the time piece. Or... <laughs> yes. You know, I've really got to focus on getting these weapons out of the out of the uh, pocket watch of Osiris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Related to this. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, yeah. If you if you're worried about oh. that stuff, then grab those weapons if you can and get the seal. But honestly, just like Barry said, it's a really good balance right now between things that you could do on a casual side versus long term grind. There are things to chase if you want to spend a lot of time. I'm still chasing Dragon Shadow rolls in Nightfalls. I, I don't expect that stuff to drop for me day one. Nice. I think it's also important to sometimes just play the game to play the game with friends. It's like just get into a raid, just get into a group of people playing Crucible, not worrying about like what I'm grinding for, or what I'm trying to get. It's just actually go out and enjoy the shit I have. Right, because yeah. like when there's this constant pressure to always be working on something, it can get almost tedious and almost like uh, workman like. Whereas, mm -hmm. like sometimes you just gotta play and have fun with the shit you got, so you can enjoy yeah. it. You know? Like you can always just hop in the sundial with friends, just do as much as you can. You'll get something at the end of the sundial for sure, no matter what. Yep. And you know, eventually, you can at least get one of each of the weapons. Maybe you'll get a good roll. Maybe you won't, but it, you'll at least have it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I feel I feel like there's a pretty decent balance of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, in a lot of cases too, you don't need these weapons. It's just like no. it's it's an optional thing for sure. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. plenty of alternatives. So, I mean, the yeah. game definitely attracts completionists, right? Like this mm -hmm. is, you know, like you want you want all the best stuff, and like this is a game that's going to kind of attract that kind of personality. Because yeah, it's, it's just so appealing. I used to feel that way, and then Eververse made it so I wasn't going to get everything. And I was like, <laughs> well, I guess I'm just going to give up on collecting everything. Yeah. I wanted to ask Also, the late. vault doesn't allow for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my nightmare still. <laughs> uh, I was going to ask Sweat, you know, mm -hmm. related to this, because you're more on, you know, the hardcore side, playing through everything, and then you look for also stuff that's super challenging. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> where do you go to get that sense of challenge? Like, is it mostly raid challenges? And also, do you think Bungie's doing enough to address that? And what would you like to see to keep you satisfied? I, I always hear a lot of ideas from the community like you on what they want that's challenging. Oh, man. I mean, the, the, the thing that will always be on top for me is those raid race days that's the i love the the constant like pressure of i don't know just like racing against other people just having a good time trying to figure out new stuff i think that's the biggest thing is like trying to overcome these obstacles like in in the heat of the moment without cracking under the pressure and uh there aren't really that many experiences like that other than the world's first race yeah mm -hmm. yeah so i mean in, in terms of making more like challenging stuff i guess it's it's kind of difficult without going overboard on like the the super hardcore side then again um like if, if you're doing this hardcore stuff you expect to get something good out of it i guess but right you have to find a balance of not locking like super op weapons behind that otherwise you're gonna have the rest of the community like lashing at bungie for that mm -hmm. and it's yeah, yeah yeah i don't know like yeah if you locked whatever anarchy behind a Two man version of whatever insurrection, or yeah, I'd be like, I, I, I just want to get in. Are you man? Like, I don't want to do that. Solo flawless, mm -hmm. bit of heresy, <laughs> right? Yeah, it but, would encourage players to do crazier things, I feel like, and try and get like a lot better, but at the same time, yeah, it's I think people would actually be really surprised how much they could do, especially in PVE, if mm -hmm. they just like really got used to doing it. Because PVE is once you learn how things work, you kind of have it down. Yep. So I feel like if people push themselves, that they'd, they'd be surprised what they can mm -hmm. achieve. Absolutely. It's a lot of it is timing and people think, oh, I can't do that. It's like you can. You just I mean, anything in life, you just you just got to just do it enough until you know enough to practice yep. muscle memory. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep her going. Uh, One of the things we've talked about a lot in the show is having contests available all the time for raids and then having yep. special rewards for completing contests. Yeah. I'd really like to see that. Like, it just seems it's something that they've already built. So it's like less, it's not a high, super high effort thing to just, you know, leave it in. And then you can put in, I don't know, like have, you, you already have like the raid reward weapon. 
So maybe mm-hmm. have like a special skin for that weapon that's available for doing contest. You know, yeah, like, like a random drop for just completing contest. You know, something that's special. It doesn't mm-hmm. affect gameplay in a huge way, but it's you know it's worth getting because it's it's cool. Absolutely. Any sort of yeah. cosmetic to put behind that, I think, would be again a good encouragement to do those types of difficult things and push people to get better at the game mm-hmm. without just yeah go in, expect loot, and walk out. You know. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I really wish ornaments were like a thing for challenges and high level content. Yes. Mm-hmm. I really do. I would love more ornaments. Like if you got the Xenophage ornament for doing a solo flawless pit of heresy, wouldn't that be dope? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you need more ways to show off those accomplishments. Mm-hmm. Um, that's kind of what I was thinking about. Like what are the Yeah, what first what do you just find enjoyable, but then certainly how does it work? in the gameplay. So, you know, for example, would you want them to have official um, raid challenges that were trackable, you know, if maybe even who did it first, but like for three person, two person Mm -hmm. and so on, would you want to see that? Or do you like the sort of inventing, you know, three hunters only, et cetera? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's kind of a difficult line because the only, I guess the only restriction I see behind that is like, you can't, you can't design a raid around like, being able to be two manned, that type of stuff, because right. a lot of times they don't even see that stuff coming. So, right. I mean, I think they try and stop you guys from doing that stuff. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Fire Star is a perfect example. You yeah. literally got to touch those big four plates to get up, and it's not possible with any less than four. I think four or five. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. It yeah, it would be cool to see some kind of anything from the challenge side of things, but. Who knows what they got in store? So, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, Z Bug says, "Do you think Bungie will ever port Destiny One over to PC?" Oh, they're doing it bit by bit as we speak. Yeah, <laughs> one mean, gun at a time. In a sense, <laughs> yeah, it's happening. <laughs> hmm. I mean, that'd be super successful if they brought back Trials of Osiris in yeah. Destiny One and just put that on PC. But <laughs> that's not going to happen. With sticky nades and icebreaker. <laughs> Oh dear! <laughs> Is that still the current meta? On oh I no yeah, idea. that's yeah, where they left really? that that's baby. How they left that's death. how it ended. Double stickies. That's right. They put it out mm-hmm. wet. Sidearm, icebreaker, stickies. Oh, it was wet and oh, cold, left ammo. outside. <laughs> <laughs> and then they left. Left the house. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm pretty confident they will never do that. It also means support, like to that example, like you kind of would have to support it more than where it's at, like. Yeah, yeah, I, it's just too much. I think at some point for a small population, I think at some point it's going to happen, but it's years out. It's like, yeah, maybe it's like the 15 year anniversary. Exactly. Type deal. Like a wild classic <laughs> yeah. moment, right? Precisely. Yeah. Like cross play is completely integrated with all the next gen consoles and PC. And it's a, it's a crazy gaming utopia that we're experiencing. And they're like, let's bring back the glory days of Destiny one with all its bugs yeah. and all that. <laughs> Chase to level thirty, <laughs> or light level twenty nine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I would play it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Baratus Otis fifty two says, "Would you rather get a horde mode with endless waves or SRL forge mode for people to make their own tracks?" <sighs> oh my oh. gosh! Excite Thank bike for tracks. SRL. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. <laughs> Would it be I, like? I, I wouldn't play in the SRL thing. Sorry, I don't like SRL. SRL. <laughs> Oof, SRL's fun. I just, I just don't like SRL at all. So, what? Well, I wouldn't. Pick is SRL. it a case of needing to I get good? I also don't like mayhem. <laughs> no, I just, I don't. I want to shoot things with my gun. I feel so. Like anything that. that takes away from that, I, I don't really enjoy very much. I feel you in that. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I think it's. It's a fun side thing that happens in Destiny. Mm-hmm. It's like like the fact that we actually can run around patrols with sparrows going that fast and then emoting and all that. It's just kind of mm-hmm. nice having this strange race that shows up that Amanda Holiday is all about. Yeah. Can I have a forge mode for horde mode? <laughs> <laughs> a forge for anything would be Cheating. amazing. <laughs> Destiny would... Can you imagine some of the crazy things the community could it come up with? A sky with like a forge mode from like Halo Three or any yeah 
dude. Halo Five. It would be outstanding. Halo Five's forge mode is insane. Like, imagine if they could do something like that in Destiny. I know Destiny is a very complex game. All sorts of things would break. If Telesto has this many bugs, imagine how many bugs Forge Mode would have. Yeah. You know, but I would still love it. I'd love to mm-hmm. see the creations that were made. Yeah. Uh, unlimited content. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You can never get bored. Yeah, if you could somehow cross that with like raids as well, right? Like, Oh my, do don't awesome, even like, get me started right? on that one. Yeah. Holy mo- could be really Can you cool. imagine community created raids? Yes. It would Holy be nuts. smokes. It'd be, It'd cool. be yeah, diabolical. Like... Have you ever played Mario Maker 2? Yes. Oh, yeah. That would be that's what I was man. thinking of this. <laughs> the Mario Maker <laughs> of Destiny, where, like, you know, you have to be able to beat it to be able to publish it. And somebody beats it and is like, beat this. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was thinking is, like, if they used even the existing mechanics, but you could tweak them and, like, right. using, you know, the the number pad, last wish mechanics here, and just giving people the ability to do crazy stuff would be... Uh, so yeah, maybe one day that would be really neat. Um, as sort of insane as it might get, um, that would give oh, man. There'd be limitless potential for people who yeah. love challenging. I things. know the project mm-hmm. itself to do something like that would just be monumental to take on. Yeah, a for real because you'd have to design a tool set. Exactly. Yeah, but the amount of content that could come out of it would be exponential. That would really solve a lot of content droughts that happen. Right. Like PvP maps. We're always talking about PvP maps. And a That's lot, a big one. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times, they kind of put out some PvP maps that are mm, a little stanky, right? Mm, <laughs> not exactly liking certain PvP maps that come out. The community could come up with maps, and some of them are going to suck. A lot of them are, and then some of them are going to be gems that really rise to the top that are like loved maps and could be used in playlists. Yeah, in rotation. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Hey, they did it in Halo. Something that was done back in 2007. Imagine so ahead of its time. Mm-hmm. It's nuts. Uh, Triggerblade sure X Trigger, Triggerblade X says, do you think we will teach St. 14 the true meaning of the dawning next week? Baking? <laughs> yeah. Where he's going to come bake with us? I mean, you he's are giving him a cookie, with cookies, apparently. So. He wants to Capitalism? Get- <laughs> <laughs> Capitalism. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Realize, he probably Moving loves on. animal cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Cameron says season eight had next to nothing but a terrible arena activity. Season nine has multiple great story missions, tons mm. of voice lines, cutscenes, interesting new weapons with brand new perks, an inventive loot system, etc. They're nothing alike. Which would we expect going forward? I'm confused. Yeah, that... yeah, because Shadowkeep <laughs> had a raid and a dungeon. And yeah, like, I, I think are they different. referencing the only the seasonal content? Maybe I guess. Which yeah, that's my first offensive. response would be like it's it's hard. Yeah, I think that's what they were talking about, right? Yeah, you had the question though, I think gets back at what we were talking before though is what what should we expect going forward? We don't know. We literally have no idea. I'm expecting a dungeon every week, a new raid every month, uh, strikes yep. when I just log in, everything. <laughs> right. My collector's every edition of uh, it's like of Destiny email. 3 will have uh, <laughs> uh, uh, endless supply of coffee in it. I want to be able to tap into the multiverse to play multiple different versions of Destiny at any given point. Please and mm-hmm. thank you. Right. Mm-hmm. I'll be able to fly uh, between planets like No Man's Sky. Yes. Yes. Dude, it's funny. When we were talking about Sparrow Racing, I was thinking about, we've talked about in Destiny for a long time, being able to, like, if you wanted to, fly between stuff and just, I don't know, do a few things. I was playing Rebel Galaxy Outlaw during the summer, and you just, it's such a cool feeling. And Destiny, when you're in orbit, it has that, or flying into a planet, you know, it has that look. I would be down for something optionally. I don't think everybody wants to do that, but. Mm -hmm. Um. But anyway, yeah, I feel like we already talked about that one. Other than I, I do think this season, and I'm hopeful it is that I hope we could expect to see the same model next season. I think it's going to suck if I was skirting around it maybe when I brought it up last time. I think it's going to suck if we don't get a similar little storyline for the next season. I think that they're setting us up, and that's where we get finicky as Destiny fans. We're like, I really like that. And we're like, well, maybe next 
December. We don't know if it's the season after and so on. So um, I'm expecting a little more consistency. And I know that was, you know, Luke Smith, his uh, director's cut updates and um, all he went over. I know that's what they're trying to build towards. I don't know how hard it is to keep up with, but I think that's been the goal is like the obelisk, right? I think give us... That was a first taste of where this might be going. Right? Yeah. Where you're like, huh. Stuff like that leveling rotates. Leveling up like an item on a planet that mm -hmm. rotates and weapons come from that. I'm like, hmm. Like that could go. Like imagine where it goes from here. This is only the beginning. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but again, I hope that next season we get something like that. Or otherwise it goes you know, missing yeah. and we're like, what's going on? Also, they introduced weapons from year one into the loot pool that like some of them I had yeah. no idea. Like Hawthorne's Fuel Forge yep. is in there. Uh, yep. The, Dude, it's what you asked for, Teft. How many times, right? Exactly. It wasn't everything. But you're like, I just want to roll a blank, you know, an edge yeah. transit. The fact know? that a few of them are coming <laughs> forward, and obviously edge transit already had ran rolls, but a yeah. few of them, like Last Hope, Ariel's Gift, uh, Field Forge. Old Fashioned. Yeah, Old Fashioned yeah, come back. Old fashioned. Like, that's awesome. cool. That's great to finally see that stuff when you're out in the world and you pop in your prime engram again and like, oh, it's a weapon that I haven't yeah. seen in a long time with a ran roll. Yeah, I mean, the, the sweat skull came on the show and we're like, what are you rolling? And he's like, last hope, right? Is that what you said? Yeah, 12,000 like, shards. Yes. What do you have to show for it? Who would have thought? <laughs> sadness. <laughs> Tears. Yes. Wow, Just rubbing sadness. it in. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so you keep your hair so shiny, it's all the tears. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> That is so uh, many shards. I can't believe you did that, by the way. But wow, I can't believe I did either. I was <laughs> anticipating 3K, but I just was it worth it? I was committed. I, I, At a I mean, certain point, you just got to keep going, right? You've spent so yeah. much that it's like, let's just keep going. It Don't reminds ever me of a go gambling to Vegas. Addiction, Have you been to right? Davis? Yeah, yeah. Vegas. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Brian. Don't I got go 300 Vegas. bucks. That's all I'm going to spend. <laughs> no, I've spent seven thousand dollars. Might as well keep going. What's another seven? I'm already screwed. You know. <laughs> I didn't really like that house anyway. Who yeah. needs this wedding ring? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Renee says, "Would you all like to see re-rolling masterworks return? I would. I'm tired of grinding for hours and hours for that god roll and getting the perks, but not the right masterwork." Mm. This is always one of these yes things. No. Yeah, exactly. Yes and no type of situation. If you make yeah. it too convenient, then it cuts your grind considerably. But yep. I, I think it has to have exponential increase in costs if there was a re-roll mechanic. Agreed. Sounds fair. Yeah. Maybe about 12,000 legendary shards. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's the bar that's been set. Callus <laughs> just comes in and is like, how much uh, shards you got? <laughs> Andrew Slade says what did Tess do with all the festival of the lost money why is the tower so depressingly sparse in the dawning decorations it's funny. It. she's pocketing it I mean it's <laughs> snowing you know I had the same reaction I was after festival of the lost I was like man they went like pretty wild for this this is great uh, and I can't wait to see the dawn and then I was like oh it's kind of like the last one and it looks good but I feel like the Festival of the Lost set the bar pretty darn high. I think the person the who's in charge of making that clearly prefers Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's just the answer. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think the real answer, right, is that teams stagger, right? Different teams work six, eight months out, whatever it is. And, uh, you know, whatever they had to move on to next probably was pretty yeah. pressing. We know which so. team won that contest <laughs> exactly well Friends, maybe, maybe the Friends other team calling out the other bungee team for right. wow. no i'm not, not decorating well, properly i'm not calling out the team i'm saying the time <laughs> they were given by their producers so it's that's sounds that's like one is. team had more cheer more festival spirit <laughs> <laughs> but Bunch uh, of grinches on team too <laughs> seriously does anybody okay i know you're kidding but does anybody <laughs> think that the, the tower looks better in the dawning than it did in festival of the lost uh, I don't. No, mm -hmm. definitely no. not. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with it. I <laughs> would argue that I last love you guys year, who made the the snow and everything. It's great. I would argue that last year I think it looked better. I don't really. I thought it looked almost the same. Like didn't last year have more stuff going on? I don't actually remember. I, I think it was just snowing with the lights and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I'd yeah. have to see them like side but, by side. Yeah, where's my I'm festival sure tree? A video out there. <laughs> The Festivus Bowl. That's what I want. 
<laughs> yes, I did too. <laughs> <in> this <laughs> aluminum pole. The trials of, uh, of the feats of something. Oh, I forget what it was. Feats of strength. <laughs> feats of strength, yeah. You go to the tower and you can challenge someone in like a wrestling match. Oh, that'd be great. Perfect. Uh, Sirius McDougal says, what's with the hate towards the mountaintop in PvP? Destiny Tracker awesome. has it at number 23 used weapon with 1% usage and kills. As an Xbox user, mountaintop, recluse, OEM, bottom tree, striker main, I feel the whole world is out to get me. Love you guys, though. That's because the whole world is, because no one likes you. Yeah. <laughs> what the? Uh, I mean, the the, the, the numbers you're looking at you, are because but... it's a hard weapon to get. If it was, if everybody had it, you'd see the you'd see the usage go up. Mm -hmm. Also, I just don't like, I just don't like having special weapon uh, grenade launchers in PvP because yeah, it's it, it it's not an engagement weapon. It's something you can just bounce off a wall and. You know, start the engagement off with you know twenty five percent health. It's also a gun that can one shot you very easily in the yeah. crucible, and I think everyone doesn't like a giant flying grenade that comes at their face that can yeah. one shot them. Doesn't reward yeah. precision aiming. Yeah, it's my biggest it, thing yeah, that, yeah I guess. it doesn't. But also, you using one eyed mask and recluse is not helping you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's probably is helping him. It's helping. Him. <laughs> <laughs> It's helping. That them. might be why you feel the world's out to get you, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is probably Lots it. Lots telling the truth, though. They are <laughs> out to get you, and they hate you, they but... They actually are. <laughs> she's like, just don't use it. Have you checked your Stop. Xbox messages lately? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Beave Levier says, please no Eververse or trial speculation or vendor refresh discussion. We all feel the same, but lately the chatter has devolved to this every week. Let's I talk agree. about all the good going on in the game. Like I, I agree with you. Like I just said, fair. they introduced some weapons from year one into the loophole with random rolls. Yep. Very happy about that. Yes. And we'd love to see more. Yeah, actually, every season, I'm excited to see more of that happen. Mm -hmm. Like, I, th This is part of the expectation thing. If Bungie starts doing that, I'm going to be excited to see what comes forward. If they stop, though, be like, yo, what about them reintroduction of them guns? Like, I want more of that. Yeah, I yeah, think that's the weapons. problem. Yeah. Like, if they actually can do have extra time to put some new guns back in the game and they do that, then that's awesome. And then if they can't, people then saying it's bad is not. It's yeah. not like, if they yeah, have I, extra time to do that, then that's great. But I don't think that even if we didn't have that, there's more this season that I'm excited about and wanting to play than last season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, I uh, in the last episode which i missed did you guys talk about how you felt about the the amount of content this season and everything i think so okay but yeah like in other words my, my quick input on it was just gonna be i heard a lot at first when it launched like the day of they're like nothing to do um fail you know i heard some of the negative stuff you're talking about in other words but then very quickly i heard about people like grinding for weapons these weapons are actually pretty good and it's quickly turned to like people are kind of excited to go just grind for some of these weapons and like we didn't get mm -hmm. you know we talked about we'd love to have a strike and but actually even without it for the I don't again I always forget if it's seven bucks value or whatever like so far I'm enjoying it and the quest certainly has helped a lot too like just enough story content to kind of keep you yeah. moving in the beginning of the season um, and that's why I like that it's staggered actually yeah. instead of everybody doing three days and then they're out. Uh, yeah, I think the sundial is great, and I love the fact that you get to choose yeah. the weapon that you want. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that too. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Um, for Eververse, I tend not to try and bring up the Eververse if I'm asked <laughs> about it or if something no. changes, I'll talk about it. But I actually try not to bring it up because I'm sick of talking about it too. Yeah. Yep. Fair enough. But you just brought it up, so. Well, they asked about it. How do you <laughs> feel about it? <laughs> <laughs> Instaplet. Insta Split says, I'm currently rocking a PC with a Ryzen 7 1700, 16 gigabyte, gigabit, gigabytes of Kingston RAM, and an RX 580. Looking to upgrade to a new third gen Ryzen machine. What would you guys suggest? Main use would be Destiny, of course, and maybe a little streaming too. What's it going to be, Briar? I think you're the, the one. Uh, I don't have a Ryzen. 
So to be honest with you, I wouldn't upgrade the processor on your machine because your Ryzen 7 1700 is fine. If you want to uh, get better frame rates and stream some Destiny, get one of the new RTX cards uh, from NVIDIA, which your mm-hmm. Ryzen 7 1700 is fine with. Um, and the the RTX card will allow you to stream using the encoder that's on the card, not on your CPU. Yep. Um, I think that's where your money is best spent. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what your budget is, but that's probably it. Exactly. Yeah. Switch to the NVENC new encoding and get off of this X264 encoding for streaming. Right. And then, yeah, just like an RTX, I mean, a 2060 and 70 are pretty solid. Yeah. Um, I have a 2080 and it's more than enough for 1080p. Um, even 2060 is going to do great at Destiny. Yeah. yeah. Like I, yeah, I can say I have a three-year-old ish, um, eight-core processor that I installed. Yeah, the new RTX twenty eighty, and I play ten eighty p, sixty plus plus. I stream at a really high bit rate, all on one single PC. Um, so it's been been a great setup. Yeah. Uh, T Plat one twenty three says moving to PC very soon, and was wondering what mouse and keyboard do you guys use? So what, what do you use? Uh, I just switched over to the G Pro Wireless. Actually, I like that. Hey, a lot. that's what I got nice. too. I like that. Yeah. And then keyboard, I have the Ducky One Two Mini, but I think I might switch it at some point because there's like a lot of people have key ducky. chattering issues with this keyboard. But I would highly recommend any sort of sixty percent keyboard because your keyboard doesn't matter too much. It's just the mouse. Yeah. I agree with Sweat. There is the smaller the keyboard, the better, in my opinion. <laughs> Getting rid of the number pad oh, yeah. just gives yeah. you more room to swing that mouse around. Yep. 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 Get that work That's out. That's my current issue. Like, I have a Corsair, I think, K95 or whatever. I love it, but it's mm-hmm. huge. Um, it's great for your side pad. business as an accountant, I'm sure. That's right, exactly. <laughs> well, I, I use the number pad for um, switching instead of a, um, a, a stream deck. But oh, I, I, just because nice. I like how fast it is, just easy. Yeah. I always have my hands on 789, 456, whatever. That part's really convenient for me personally. It's so easy. For, like, I can switch while playing the game, you know, without even looking. Which is nice. Um, That's nice. But mm-hmm. I would actually like to get a 60% keyboard, like you're saying, but then get a separate number pad that you can just put off to the side because you can do that um, yep. if, totally. if it's so important to my accounting. Sounds business. like you're using a stream deck at that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could but just get I, this little thing that I could put on the side to switch my, my scene. Yeah. So to be fair, though, I feel like I have to look at the stream deck to use it. Um, I feel that way too. Yeah. You can yeah. learn where you have things located. It's it, more about the spread of the fingers and it also but moves I, I around my chance. desk. Yeah, it slides too, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you can mount it. I know some people have like they built little like holders for it and stuff. So. Yeah, but um, I have but one. The I love deck it. It's great. It's great. Yeah, but like it, it's not it's not the same as like being able to touch type on a keyboard. Yeah, exactly. A uh, tactile key definitely feels better for switching things. But yeah. I use the stream deck uh, as well. Definitely, I, I'd recommend if you're looking to buy a keyboard and mouse, like spend the money on the mouse, not the keyboard yeah, at first. Right. Uh, the keyboard makes less difference. And like, uh, Sweat, I love this G Pro. This was a really expensive mouse, but you can get it on mm-hmm. sale for about 100 bucks. Yep. Uh, like if you watch for it, it's a really nice mouse. It's You cannot even tell it's wireless. It's so, so responsive. The battery lasts forever on the goddamn thing. Yes. And you know what I ended up doing is I ended up spending the extra money on the wireless charging mat for it. So mm-hmm. I I don't even have to plug it in. When I'm done playing my game, I don't use the wire the mouse pad because it's too small for my liking. Mm-hmm. I just keep it at the top of my desk and I just slide the mouse onto it when I'm done playing video games and leave it there. And Can you put your phone on there too? The next time. Does it charge? Uh, I don't know. Well? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Give yeah. it a shot. Uh, but I do really like this mouse. It's fucking expensive, but I like yeah. it. Yeah. All the Logitech. Yeah. I use a uh, really G502. Good. It's wired, though. Mm-hmm. I did try the wireless mm-hmm. one, and the, the bottom thing came off, the little oh. thing. So instead oh. of replacing it, I just went back to just the, with the, five. the wired. Yeah. Um, what bottom thing? The little like the sliders? The little attachment the scuff thingy. The, the, um, the, like the, the sticker? Weight? No, not the weight. I don't have any weights oh, in there. Oh, okay. The gotcha. sticker. Yeah, I know. It was really weird. It started peeling. I was like, what the hell? This is a $150 mouse. <laughs> Check about yeah. the skates. Yeah, like the, the mouse skates. Oh, the skate. Okay. Is that what it's called? The sticker thing on the bottom that's rubber? Mouse skates? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this, yeah, the skate started peeling off of it. I guess I could just replace those 
if I got yeah, that. Like, yeah, you could probably get it back from them. I mean, you're also so Hollywood, dude. You just I returned it back yeah, to Amazon. Logitech, just dude. like that. Boom, back to Amazon. <laughs> so that when I buy, go. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Tom. I use a HyperX keyboard, 60% keyboard as well, and I got it because nice. I just wanted something that was wasn't going to be super expensive if I had to replace it. Because uh, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I did have a Logitech keyboard that was a full size, which I really liked the sound and the feel. But again, I wanted to also get rid of the ten the, the ten key thing because I was bumping it constantly. I play at four hundred DPI, yep. seven in game, and I have a four foot by two foot mouse pad. And like that ten that ten key thing was huge for me. Yeah. yeah. It also for me it was an ergonomics thing because it allows me to have my uh, hands closer together mm-hmm. as opposed to wider apart. And that like to me that was making creating less stress on my uh, elbows mm-hmm. and my shoulders. Yeah. Um, also, when you buy a mouse, think hard about buying it retail and getting like a instant replacement plan for it. Especially if you're buying like a hundred and fifty dollar mouse. Mm-hmm. Like for six bucks, you can just get like the little replacement thing, and when it breaks, bring it back. Yeah, and just get a new one. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's like the six new bucks model, for two right? years. Yeah. yeah. I don't usually buy those things, but on mice I do because I find that mice break a lot. Briar likes to pound I've his had mice. Pretty good luck. I do like to yeah. pound my mouse. Run it around or what's going on there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have no problem with mine. Uh, yeah, I still have the. I ended up getting that Ninja Air Fifty Eight Final Mouse, mm-hmm. and um, there was just a lot of hype at the time around them, and I was like, I'll try it, and because it is wired but weightless, you know. And actually, I really I don't even notice the cable. It's awesome, um, but I like. I mean, the the uh, Logitech mice you guys are talking about is pretty much all that I use otherwise. The 502 and the 902 or 3, which is the wireless, or any version of those, I feel like are pretty amazing. But you do got to yeah. find one that fits your hand. People forget that. Is That's very true. Yeah. yeah, you can't just recommend, I love whatever this exactly. style. Because like some Razer mice, um, I forget what it's called, but some people love that shape. And there's a lot of mice in that shape. But then... Um, some of the Logitechs don't have the same shape and so on. So Yeah, yeah the G502 that, that Tefty can. uses, I love everything about that mouse except it makes my hand cramp. There you go. Because it's too thin. It makes mm-hmm. my hand kind of squidge together. Mm-hmm. Especially if you're a lefty too, the the G Pro wireless is ambidextrous. So yeah, nice. you can switch the, the buttons if you so yep. wish to. So it's nice. Good stuff. Uh, Cracking Them 90s says... <laughs> Cutting all the crap, what is your honest opinion on Season of the Dawn? And should Bungie continue with these kind of seasonal drops instead of DLCs like Curse and Warmind? Yes and yes. I think it's fine instead of having a season drought. I mean, a, a content drought. Like, I would much prefer like, this. So, it's, it's really funny because anytime I hear people talking about, like, oh, D1, so great, content, oh, my God. Yeah. Like, it, do do people not realize how much content we're getting? Not not only yeah. on a three month basis, on a weekly basis, we're getting things unlocked as we're playing. Like there is so much stuff that gets dropped every three yeah. months now. Whereas before, we were waiting months and months and months for something, and everything would drop all at once, and then we'd just play it all in a week, and we'd be done. It's, Seriously, it's year two of Destiny One was a horrific content drought. <laughs> yeah, horrific. Trust me, I did a podcast. <laughs> You're like, so what you Everyone. been doing, guys? No. Yeah. Yeah, I think people forgot as it scaled with our, you know, desires and wants. Like we've gotten a little more spoiled, but we always want more. But. Yep. Um, that being said, though, is I do miss getting the story drops, the DLC story drops. I really like those. I I miss the excitement of on DLC day having like an eight hour session of like, all right, I'm digging into this, this new destiny expansion. I'm super happy about it. Um, I really do miss that. Definitely. Yep. But that wasn't the norm either. That was like, that was the norm for year one of destiny one and year one of destiny two. And that's it. That's the only years that you could expect that. Yeah. Yeah. Dreadnought yeah. says, what's one thing you would say during sex while also playing Destiny? Oh, God. That's <laughs> I, I saw this. Um... What's your loadout? <laughs> Final stand? I know. Final I was stand. 
They quoted one. I saw this and forgot. I yeah, the quoted one was, let's wipe and start over again. <laughs> <laughs> pretty solid. Which that's is actually solid. funny on a bunch that's, of different levels. That's yeah. pretty good. That was really good. Uh, something you'd say in a raid. It also works. With nice headshot. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good I like it there's gotta be something for calling out the three dicks I mean power penis power penis yeah, yeah. Power, there penis. You go. power penis absolutely Say which that side do you want <laughs> I don't know uh -uh. This this is a good one. Do we have one more or should we just LFG it? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> Jesse, like thank that. you. Jesse, I that guess was the amazing. winner right there. That was great. Uh, Unbroken Bit Dude says, should it be legal for people who spoil important movie plot points to publicly be castrated and or jailed? I say yes. Wow. Castrated I'm down with this movie, yes. 100%. I'm cool with it, yeah. Got to learn some way, right? Right? Yeah. Good old castration. Understand. Really get the point across. <laughs> Probably won't do it again. <laughs> Probably not. Shrednot says, if dogs or cats could dial 911, what kind of emergency was, would they call in for? Mom hasn't fed me yet. It's been five minutes. Yeah. I, I feel like it'd be food related almost every time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Or I got to go outside. Also, you'd get a ton of phone calls from them. <laughs> <laughs> you, you would. <laughs> Zachary Richard says, what's everyone's favorite time in history to study and to learn from? Mm, probably ancient Egypt is really interesting. I think just in general, they were, they were ahead in a lot of stuff. So it's really interesting to find out about that. I feel like ancient Egypt, too, is... We felt like we had a pretty good understanding, but everything's kind of getting flipped on its head like right now. Yeah. Which is really interesting to watch. It is. Mm -hmm. It seems like there's always something coming out of there where it's like, oh, everything's changed again, which is it's cool. I like it. You just remind me I need to like read more. That's not about like games and movies. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I think that sounds good. It's brush up on the old Egypt. Uh, but then otherwise, yeah, I was going to say just in general, like Rome and the Roman Empire and all that. Partially because of my heritage and Italian and all that. But um, having been to, to Italy briefly, I was like, oh, my God, it's crazy. Like to see real world remnants of like what that was. So it's mm -hmm. pretty interesting to be able to read about it when you can still see some of that stuff. Mm hmm. It's really fun learning about samurai too because there's a lot of places that you can go and yeah. experience that culture and that history mm -hmm. which is a yeah that's cool same thing yeah uh I, one of the ones that's go ahead taffy i'm sorry it's gonna say yeah i'm kind of in fran's position where i don't really think about this stuff and seek it out but i would love to make the time yeah i'd love to know more about uh native american history and like from oh, yeah. south america yeah. all the way to north america because like the stuff that goes before you know, that they have like verbal um, handed down oral knowledge is really amazing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the stories all connect from around the world with those uh, native communities. Really cool. Mm -hmm. I, I've been learning a little bit and a lot of this stuff is unproven and it's like, uh, is this really fact or not? Is but it there's ancient aliens, Briar? You no, mean? but there's... <laughs> Like this theory that there was much a, a much bigger civilization in North America than what we think there was, mm. um, and that it was it was really wiped out. Really, like there was a catastrophe across the world twelve thousand years ago, uh, caused by an, <laughs> an asteroid that did a lot more damage than kind of what people thought, and mm. it's That's really kind of interesting, kind of looking at that and like how much civilization was reset 12,000 years ago and how advanced they could have been. And, you know, a lot of that evidence would now be underwater because the, the water level raised post apocalypse. Yeah, yeah. So all those civilizations that were like coastline are now, you know, way underwater. Yeah, is like yeah, yeah, that's, tons that's of buildings really interesting. that are under the ocean. Tons and there tons is, yeah. of structures. We yeah. haven't Crazy. seen hardly anything yeah. in the ocean. Sorry, I just lost my place. I'm That's looking the for next it. Podcast from 
DCP. Explore the. Unknown. I'd be happy to. History quest. <laughs> I, I I read a lot about history. This guy Sim says, "While w- will we be seeing, or better yet, hearing from Pope Bear Sparkle Farts Unicorn sometime soon?" Hashtag Last Christmas you gave me your farts. Hashtag <laughs> the very next day you threw me away. <laughs> <laughs> If if he ever wants to come on the podcast again with us, he's kind of avoiding us. So I'm not really sure if that's Bob avoids us. Yeah, he's avoiding us. We are planning on doing something Christmassy. I know, like we're kind of yeah. gonna do gifts again this year. So Pope yeah. will probably join us for that, and hopefully, awesome. uh, Sparkle Farts, the unicorn, will also make an appearance. I can yeah. say I don't know what Sparkle Farts are. Oh, you're in for a I'm, treat. Yeah, it really does not sound like Delicious. it. Delicious. You know what? I'm busy then. I'm getting my hair done. <laughs> uh, last question. Andy says, what is the key to making a great idiot sandwich? Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> um, a couple slices of bread and lots of peanut butter. What is an idiot sandwich? Have you ever, do you know who Gordon Ramsay is? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh, that That's that meme. meme or yeah. gif. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, you just gotta you gotta go on YouTube, type in Gordon Ramsay idiot sandwich, and he like <laughs> he slaps pieces of bread on this 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 lady's ears, <laughs> and she's like, what are you? Like, idiot sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's, that's good stuff. <laughs> all right, let's go do it. That was all the questions. Nice. Thank you to that's, everybody that's who sent them in. They were fun. That was great. Yeah, they were fun questions. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, is that the show then? That's I it. So. That's DCP episode one six seven. What's up, friend? I was gonna say we have these new channel points. If you're watching us live over on Twitch, and I'm not quite at the max amount yet. It's 12.50, and I'm at 12.40. I feel like if you end the You've show... Been I've been farming? farming for channel points. Because I want to, like, you can go in and, like, reverse an emote. And anyway. Yeah. Uh, if you guys aren't using those yet, though, check Twitch them out. Twitch Every channel's got them now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it's a cool way to support yeah, cool. the channel um, just with engagement. Yeah. So It's good stuff. Uh, 12.40. Sweat Skull, where can people find you on the internet? Um, Usually on the Twitch, dude. Like. Twitch, the YouTubes, if you miss the, the cool stuff, just the regular social medias, man. That's about it. Can you spell it out real quick, just in case someone's having a tough Twitch time? Twitch.tv slash S-W-E-A-T-C-I-C-L-E. Nice. Awesome. And also all like your socials. Like a popsicle that's sweating. <laughs> there you <Yes>. go. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Same for Twitter and all those places? Yep. Nice. Awesome. So we'll what happens good. when you've been doing it for 12 years, Tessie? That's right. No, since mm-hmm. 2012. <laughs> Close enough. That's not 12. That's 12. That's 12 years. I think quick maths, that's 12 years. Definitely. I don't yeah. have an advocate's handy, but that math sounds right. <laughs> exactly. There we go. Can't tell me. No, can't prove it. If I had a... I don't have a, I don't have a number pad yeah, on my exactly. keyboard, so I can't actually check this out. 60% <laughs> keyboard not allowing me to check out the math here, but it sounds about right. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for being on the show, Sweat. Thank you guys again. It was a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. Thank Good you. Questions. Fran, where can people find uh, we you? We should mention... Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. We should mention that we will be getting together on Saturday yes. uh, for a little streaming good time. Yeah. Uh, do we know what time we're doing that? 4 p.m. Pacific. 4 p.m. Pacific. Um, right. It's going to be DCP, our really bad Jedi. DCP, our idiot Jedi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to be building my own lightsaber. I'm just, it's gonna be, Fran's going to be panicking that no one's no one's flanking Whatever. with him. and No way. Hefty's going to be giving a lecture. It's going to be a good time. There it's will be, be a lecture. DC, DCP is, we're going to play Battlefront, too. Yes. So, come support us. Come check it out. Yeah. yeah. It should be a good time. Yeah. Speaking Regardless, of, something will, will go wrong. So, yeah. you got that Thank to look God. forward to. <laughs> Yeah, the DCP idiot sandwich, exactly. That's what I mean. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, there's a Addy, right? Yep. That's well, awesome. you gotta come over and watch on YouTube right now in the, the time code. There you what go. A cute doggo. Oh. So cute. Uh so yeah, you can find me right here on Twitch uh at FM three underscore. It's a great way to support. Briar? Uh or no. Me? Sure, whichever. But 
whatever it's fine uh, i'm miss 5000 watts you can find me on twitter twitch and youtube just look for miss 5000 watts same except look for briar rabbit <laughs> <laughs> same but but a rabbit uh if you want to support me you can find me uh twitch.tv forward slash tefty teft and uh follow me on twitter twitter.com forward slash teft four letters t-e-f-t and yeah. Tefty, it's a shame you didn't go with Teft and the Tefticles for today's show specifically. You and Sweat could have had a thing going on. Yeah, yeah. Tefticles. True. What's cool? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Aren't yeah. you guys related, actually? I think so. Sure. Also, Holtzman, right? <laughs> yep. Related to Holtz, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Appreciate all the live viewers and uh, everybody watching on YouTube and, uh, and everyone tuning in via the podcast syndications. And shout out to all of our Patreons. Who make the show a reality. So appreciate that, guys. Thanks for Thank watching. You, we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Thank you. <laughs>